Sanchez. Cactus, 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 I am live. It's Saturday night, October 5th. Yeah, the 5th, 2013. Dubzim is posting phone numbers in the chat room, which is against the rules. So you're probably going to get kicked by Tabachi Dubzim. Sorry. It's a rule. Sorry, Dubzim. It's just a rule. Okay, about the chat room. I posted a video on YouTube announcing the show, and as a result, we have a ton of people in the chat room named Horse. Horse. And then random numbers. Um, so, like, uh, you need to change your nicks. I mean, you should change your nicks, because you look dumb. Change your nicks by typing this in the chat room window. Type. Type slash nick. Space. And then the nick you want to be. So if your name is horse, or if your name is anything, just type slash nick, forward slash nick, or is that a backslash? I don't know. Space, and then type the name of the nick that you want to be. And, I don't know. That way you won't get kicked as easily, because the regulars don't like your, your horse nicks for some reason. Sorry, everyone. So I'm using a different microphone tonight. Let me know if this sounds like crap. I think it sounds okay, but let me know if it sounds like crap. And I will switch back to my old microphone. Tonight, I'm going to do pranks. I got a bunch of numbers thanks to a guy that's in the chat room. Or he was in the chat room. Is he still there? Let me see. What was his name? I wrote it down. Uh... Yeah, he's gone, but the guy named Hector Ding Ding, which I assume is a reference to Breaking Bad. Hector Ding Ding, the show tonight is dedicated to you because you suggested a certain business that I should get customer numbers from, and I did, and it was super easy, and I got like 21 of them. So thank you, Hector Ding Ding. (sighs) Shut up, dick soup. And, um... I'm not going to say what it is, but it's the, the customers that I'm going to call tonight. I got a bunch of customer phone numbers, and it's I don't really want to say the business name if I can help it, but it's one of those companies, like when you're on an airplane, and they have that catalog full of just crap, like just pointless, stupid crap that nobody should ever buy. Um, that's called Sky Mall, I believe. And they have, yeah, I don't know, but it, it's not Sky Mall. It's something similar to Sky Mall. It's just a bunch of products that you could never possibly need. It just, it's ridiculous, the, the products that they sell. Uh, it's one of those companies, and I have a bunch of customers that ordered things like, oh man, hold on. I have to move my microphone. Let me tell you just a few things. Someone ordered a bacon press. Someone ordered bird tumblers. I have the website, so I can find out what this stuff is. Someone ordered a computer handbook. Someone ordered one of those computer... I I forget where it is. I can't see it on here, but they ordered one of those uh, little password books where you write down all your computer passwords. Um, Wax Vax. Someone ordered two Wax Vax. Someone ordered a Squirrel Whisper. Someone ordered a 100-foot pocket hose. I think I know what that is. I think I've seen the YouTube video for that commercial, the, the hose that, like, inflates. And they ordered a hose holder for it, which I don't understand because it's a pocket hose. Keep it in your pocket. Uh, somebody ordered, let's see. Um, uh, uh, give me a second here. Oh, that's normal. Okay, (laughs) someone ordered a hair-cutting umbrella and domino holders and an ultraviolet ultraviolet nail dryer. Um, 
Someone ordered some bra extenders. A set of three bra extenders. And a set of glove, women glove liners and sock liners. Wait, I'm going to keep reading these. These are hilarious. Uh, someone ordered a chocolate color micro suede couch and love seat covers. I don't know. There's lots of good stuff. Oh, someone ordered a cassette converter. I have the website, so I can find out what these things are. Oh, yeah. Okay, people... <clears throat> I think especially people from YouTube, because you're not used to being in the Madhouse chat room and you don't know the rules, the one rule we have, besides don't be a complete asshole to everyone, is don't post any phone numbers in the chat room. So please don't post any phone numbers. You will get kicked if you post phone numbers. Um, and there's nothing I can do about that. You're just going to get kicked. So cut it out. And shut up, Finn. Hey, my horse announcement worked. Either that or someone kicked out all the horses again. Yeah, if, if you come into the chat room, type in slash Nick, space, and your nickname. So I'm not prepared, of course. So give me, like, one song to get prepared. One shitty, stupid song, and I will start making calls. So just three more minutes. I'm going to start making calls, and we'll see what happens. Oh, yeah, this show is sponsored by Jonasek. Thanks, Jonasek, for sending money for stickers, but you sent too much money for stickers. So I guess I have to say thanks. Jonasek. This show's sponsored by Jonasek. Thanks, Jonasek. Okay, I'll be right back after this song. And then and then I'll make calls, I promise. They said I'm crazy. You're crazy. They said I'm crazy. <laughs> Yo, yo, I'm a ghost, a dream, something... Quit posting a numbers, stupid. You're stupid. Okay, so, um, I'm ready to call a number. I'm gonna wait until the song's over, which is like a minute longer. But, um, here's problem I have. I got all these numbers a couple hours ago, and I have no idea what to say to these people. So this first lady, she ordered a snowman watch and a Christmas tree watch. What do I say to her? I have no idea. Um, yeah, that's all she ordered. And that's not like a horrible, stupid thing to order, but I want to go and order. So, um, yeah, snowman watch and a Christmas tree watch. If you have any ideas, post them in the chat room. <laughs> Little mama, you gon' be proud of your kid And by the time I'm done, I will have rose I see you in the stars, and that you can know For show Alright, here it goes I, Okay, I just asked that question in the chat room I didn't even read the chat room Uh, What am I supposed to say? The watches are defective And if he tries to set the time then it will work as a time machine. <laughs> okay. The watches are possible time warp machines. So everyone that ordered merchandise from this place is female. Like every single customer was female. There's one that was a male. Oh wait, no. It was a female name, but she said a male made the call. Which is weird, but he used a female name. So like his ordering for his wife or something. These watches look really dumb. I, I'm, I'm on the website of the company that I'm getting ready to impersonate, and I'm looking up the products so I can see what the hell these things are that people are ordering. Uh, they just placed these orders today, so, so, so they don't have the watch. Uh, how can I say that it's a time travel watch? That's crazy. It's... I don't inter I don't think I can do that. The watches got switched with watches meant for James Bond. <laughs> okay, that's a good one. I, I like that one better. I'm sorry. I like the time travel idea. I love time travel pranks, but I can't think how to work that in, really. The James Bond thing could work. Maybe. Uh Hello. Hi, is this Lanky? 
Uh, no, would you like to speak with her? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Okay. Hello? Hi, is this Lanky? This is Lanky, yes. Oh, hello. I'm calling from the catalog order company. You ordered some watches from us? Uh, what did I order? You ordered a snowman watch and a Christmas tree watch. Yes. Mm-hmm. But but it doesn't say Christmas tree watch on the order form here. It says Xmas tree because we're afraid to say Christ because people might protest fucking, you know, Republicans and Christians. and uh-huh. any, Anyway, you ordered a couple watches, correct? That's correct, yes. Okay. We shipped yes. those watches out today. You ordered those today, correct? For me? Well, you did order those today? Mm. Did you order the watches yesterday or today? Yeah, today. Today, she Today, said. okay. Mm. That's what it shows on here. We already yeah. sh- we shipped those out, so you're going to receive them in just... Um, oh, good. And just good. like maybe four days. Yeah, that's but, very good. But there's a small problem. What is it? Um, we accidentally shipped. It, it it's still a snowman watch and a Christmas tree watch, but mm-hmm. it's kind of the watches that we send out. It's like a deep, deep underground, worldwide web website that we send things out to. And this Excuse is. Excuse me, Dave. Talk to my friend uh, oh. because it was her catalog. I found. I don't understand something. I have a small problem with that. Um, what can I do? Hello. Hello. Hi. 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 My name's Lux. Okay. Lux, my uh, name is Mary. Hi, Mary. Okay, so we sent the watches out. They're going to be there um, later this coming week or, or next week, I guess, technically. Mm. Okay. But we sent the wrong watches. It's still oh. it's still a snowman watch and a Christmas tree watch. Yes. B- but they're they're it's like a it, it, they're worth about um eight thousand dollars more each they're really really expensive and we accidentally sent you the expensive ones eight thousand dollars yeah because they have gadgets in them they have secret gadgets it's like for spies uh we oh. we, we sell them to like russians and iraqis and stuff and they have all oh these my. God. Secret spy gadgets inside of them. So it looks like a watch, and it still tells the time, and you can use it. I mean, we can let you keep it if you want. But there's Not, all... I don't want an $8,000 watch, darling. But, I mean, it looks the same. You can't tell the difference. It just has these... Ex- it has the twisted... Uh, so it fits the wrist? Yeah, yeah. It's a twisted band. It looks exactly the same, but it's got secret gadgets in it. Like, there's one button you press... And- Mm. And and it and, and what? But like okay. you know, you press one button and it shoots out a laser and it can kill people. Uh huh. And and you press another button and it's like smoke screen. And there's a button uh-huh. for oil slick. Uh huh. And you know, like there's all these different buttons. And why if you, why would you have anything as dangerous as that with the it, way the world is today? Well, it's just and the terrorist and all the things. I don't want to kill anybody. Yeah. I don't want to make. Uh, an oil slip for anybody? Yeah, I, it's it, we we don't sell it to terrorists. We have a policy about that. We we will not sell to terrorists. Well, I don't want that kind of watch. Okay, well, it's going to arrive in the mail. Mm-hmm. And, okay, and, I mean, you and can, I'll send it right back. Yeah, you can send it back if you want, and then we'll send you the right the right one. That'll it's, be perfect. Okay, because we we didn't mean to send you this one. It's got like lasers and um like there's this one button you press and there's like a hologram that shows like a computer and you can mm-hmm. hack you can hack into things and it's got like graphical it's got unix you know the graphical mm-hmm. unix and and you can hack into things with it with voice commands like in the movies oh yeah you know it's like no. you can hack into things and it 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 works really well uh-huh. It's, like, I'm we, not interested. Don't tell me any more about I it. I mean, we, we sell uh, these. When, when I get it, it'll be uh, returned immediately. We sell these to, like, the NSA and the CIA and stuff. It's it's like for uh-huh. good people. It's not like for killers. They kill good people with these watches. Uh-huh. There's, like, bullets, and it takes pictures. There's, like, a camera in it. Uh-huh. An oil... Sl- oh, there's, like, a poison gas button. If you push this one button, it's poison gas shoots out. Uh-huh. It's and like... Somebody di- and somebody dies. Yeah, yeah, because in case somebody steals your watch, if they don't know the right combination of buttons, they're going to push... Why the- don't you just cancel the whole order? Well, it's been shipped already. It's on its way. Like, I have a tracking number with UPS and uh-huh. everything. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, well, I'll send I'll send it right back as soon as it comes. Okay, there's a button, like, if you push it, your your um, kit from Knight Rider, mm-hmm. it, it shows up. It's like, what can I do for you, Michael? I'm on my way. Mm-hmm. Ooh, well, that's not my kind of watch, darling. All right. I may be one, I may be one years old. Oh, I just wanted a little novelty watch for Christmas. Oh, I see. Yeah, there's for a nine ninety eight. I oh, when you're ninety eight, you'll probably want the watch. No, I don't think so. I said, I said the watch sells for nine ninety eight or uh, nine ninety nine, whatever it is. Yeah, and I may be one, and all I wanted was a novelty watch. Yeah, we sent you the watch with the grappling hook. Mm. And, and like you push this one button and it's, um, oh, what is it? A shark repellent. There's a shark repellent button. Mm-hmm. And then there's just a I button that shoots, shoots in the ocean, th- shoots bullets at people. Uh-huh. And there, there's a life well, alert. Not... There's a life alert button. My, my supervisor, Carl Sanders, he says there's a life alert button so you can call ambulance if you've fallen mm-hmm. and you can't get up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, thank you so much. I thank you for your time for calling and explaining. Yeah. And uh, just send the other ones out, and I'll send that one back. Okay. I think if you send it back, though, you're going to be violating anti-terrorism laws. Oh, God. Whose fault is that? Mine? You sent it. Well, it's not ours. It's the shipping department. It's not my fault. Well, tell the shipping department. You you sure you just want to... You know what? I'm going to throw it away. No, No, don't throw it away. Because there's a self-destruct. Why? There's self-destruct, and like if it falls into the wrong hands, if it's not touching a warm body, it'll, well, you know what I'm going to do. It's going to just. I'm going to go to the police department. No, no, no! Don't call the police. And I'm going to tell well, them that this no. was sent in error, and all the things that you told me about it, and they could do with what they want to do with it. Don't don't take it to the police. We we can send someone out to pick it up. We don't need to involve the police in this. Why not? You, you, you this can't, is an illegal device. It's not illegal. We sell it to the NSA and the CIA. We sell it well, to. Well, I'm not the NSA or we, the CIA. We're not I'm allowed a to. I'm common everyday woman. Okay, we're not allowed to sell it to terrorists anymore. Ever since the incident. Uh huh. Yeah, because I mean, it's got. Oh, you shouldn't have been selling it to them at all. Why not? Somebody's got to sell them watches. Not those kinds. Send them a Christmas one. Well, it, it is a Christmas one. It has Santa yeah, but, on it but and a snowman. a dangerous one. Look, it's son. I'm tired, and uh, I appreciate your phone call, it's, and uh, I'll handle it my way. It's legal. Bye-bye. You, don't, don't, don't give it to the cops. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> She's going to say... Uh, should, I, should I tell her that I was just kidding? <laughs> Oh no. I can just imagine her going to the police department and be like, you better take this watch. It's got self destruct and bullets and grappling hooks. <laughs> Am I supposed to call back? Should I call this back? I think I need to defuse this situation. What do you guys think? Okay, so like, you guys are awesome. All the chat room suggestions that you guys gave me during that none barely any of that was my own idea that was all chat room so thank you chat room thank you madhouse chat room for telling me all the things <laughs> that the watch has that was great should i call her back should i i don't know <laughs> maybe i should call everybody back tonight and tell them i'm a wacky morning dj and that was a prank call just for fun just to see what they say <laughs> i i think I think I should do that. I should prevent her from calling, <laughs> from taking her watch to the police department and telling her, telling the police that it can kill people. <laughs> Hello? Hi, is this Mary? Yes, it is. Hi, this is uh, MJ from the Skippy and Dippy show. I'm the producer from the Wacky Morning Show here at the radio station. <laughs> that sounds a little better. Okay, so so you understand it was just a joke, right? Well, 
I pray to Almighty God that it is, because if I know that someone's selling any kind of a dangerous watch to terrorists, aren't we in enough trouble in this country yeah, that we sell that's crazy true. things like that? That's true. Yeah, yeah. I would hope that... <laughs> it's not a joke to me, because, you know, when I had family in 9-11 in New York, and... It's it's not a pleasant thing to hear. Oh yeah, because that has everything to do with what, the watch I was talking about. But yeah, um, yeah, it was just a joke. It was just for the morning okay. for the morning show. We were just gonna, you know, just <laughs> we're just being silly. Like the the catalog okay. company, they gave us all your information and said we could prank call you. Okay. There there are a bunch of jerks there, but um, uh huh. No, that's not fair. Yeah, it is isn't fair. That isn't a joke to me, and I don't find it funny. But at least they're I not think, terrorists. I think it's very serious. The minute the name terrorist comes in, it's a panic button. Oh, yeah. I mean, you're the only one that said terrorist, though, not us. <laughs> right. <laughs> yes, of course. Well, you have a good evening. Oh, you too. And, and we're going to air. And thank you for clarifying. We're going to air your phone call on the air in the morning. And everyone's, you are? yeah, it's going to be hilarious tomorrow. Tomorrow morning on ninety seven point three, ninety seven point three a.m. or FM. A.m. At what time again? Oh, at uh, ten in the morning on ninety seven point three. Ten in the morning. Okay. Okay. Thank you. And it's okay with you then? No, I don't want. My, I don't want to be on the radio. Oh, we're going to do it anyway. Oh well, you don't have my permission. Oh, we're going to do it anyway, and you can't stop us. Why? Because we're jerks, we're wacky, we're wacky, and you can't. We're, we're we don't follow the rules of society, man. But you know, well, we'll, I think I think that's very unfair. Yeah, it is. But we'll send you a bumper. We'll send you a bumper sticker for ninety-seven point three. Uh, why don't you send me gas for the car? Okay, that would be better. <laughs> we'll we'll cover. Okay. We'll co- have, have a great week. We'll cover the bumper sticker in gas. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Okay. All right. Bye, Bye-bye. Mary. Have a nice night. You do the same. Bye-bye. Okay, whatever. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> yeah, 97.3 AM, because there's lots of 97.3s on the AM band. Okay, so you people in the chat room, I think there's a lot of people from YouTube here. Hi, YouTube people. You should change your nicks. All you people that have the nickname of horse, change your nick to a real nick. Um, here's how to do it. You got you type into the chat room. You type this. You type in slash nick, and then you type a space, and then you type in whatever name you want to be. So s- slash nick space and your name that you want to be. Damn it. That was fun. That was a good first call. I'm I'm I'm, I'm happy with that one. Only 20 left. I got 21 of these numbers. This next lady, she purchased a cassette converter. I want to see what that is real quick. Give me a second. Okay, a cassette converter is what you think it would be. It's like a cassette player with uh, USB outputs. So they want to convert their cassette tapes into the computer. Oh, by the way, you, uh, KDK's on tonight. Let's, let's see what KDK is up to real quick attack the the chat that's why i tell you don't use the chat he, he's being defensive I gotta, I gotta set up another chat the problem is i just don't think about it during the week and i i don't like saying that i don't care that much because i obviously care enough to be here now okay so why don't you guys wait hold on why don't you guys what we're supposed to set up his chat room you guys together like decide on a place where you can all go, all go like meet and talk with each other. Some place better than here. <laughs> yeah, that's what's going on on kdkprankcalls.com. KDK is complaining to everybody that this chat room doesn't work. So you people getting kicked from the chat room. I'm sorry. I have no control over that. It's it's the regulars in here. You guys got to change your name. Type in slash Nick space and then type in whatever you want your name to be instead of being the name horse. So sorry. I blame I blame Lux. Okay, so this lady bought a cassette converter. 
She bought a side socket. She bought a side outlet. She bought ruggies. I didn't ask the the person at this mail order catalog company to to spell anything, so I might be saying these wrong. She bought an iron and mat. Uh, she bought a display in black. She bought a USB digital converter. She bought a spill spill shield. Let's see what a spill shield is. I'm going to type that in. Spill shield. A spill shield. Oh, it's a thing you put on top of pots on your oven. It's kind of like a lid, but not exactly. It's got like vent holes in it or something. All right, what else did she buy? Um, that's not hilarious. Like I thought it would. Be. She bought a GPS cup holder. I think that's. I think I know what that is. It's like for your car. Uh, she bought a legal will kit. She bought silicone concealers. Let's see what silicone. Silic. How do you spell silicone? Concealers. Uh, I spelt something wrong there. Oh, who cares? She bought silicone concealers and she bought lady slippers. So all that stuff I just said, what can I say to that person? Uh, some of you people are private messaging me, and it's really hard for me to look at private messages during a show. I see that some of you are sending me numbers, and some of you are sending me ideas. I'm probably not, like, if if stuff gets slow, if we finish all these numbers up, I'll probably start looking at private messages. But I can't right now. Like, it's it's too difficult. Like, this is too much to read. Silicone. Okay, someone spelt silicone for me. Silicone concealers. I've never had to spell the word silicone before. Oh, there they are. Okay, silicone concealers. They are five ninety eight for a pair of them, and yes, they are for boobs. Feel feel confident wearing your sheerest tops. Silicone modesty modesty petals conceal those reveal, revealing moments that cause embarrassment. Lightweight and non-irritating self-adhesive pads affix directly to the skin for a smooth look under all your clothes. Each two-inch diameter pad removes easily and is reusable. Nude tone is the color, and you get one pair. So f this lady purchased silicon concealers. <laughs> I think we need to focus on that. Because uh, she doesn't want people to see her nipples. <laughs> what should I say to the silicon concealer? <laughs> um, let's see. I'm reading the chat room. <laughs> Someone named Hor or Lux. He says, "Tell tell her the cassette converter makes everything pornographic." Maybe I should get her to send me pictures of her nipples. <laughs> because, you know, just so I know what kind of silicon concealers to send her. Tell her that you can only sell her the concealers if she's over 18. <laughs> I'm going to have a hard time reading the chat room because it's scrolling by so fast. Hello? Hi, is this Naomi? Yeah. Hi, this is Greg from the mail order company catalog. You ordered some a few items from us today? Yeah. Like the cassette converter? Yeah. And um we we uh shipped out half of your order today, like the cassette converter. We accidentally sent um it had a cassette in the player that we were listening to earlier. Um it was like a Mormon church sermon. So there's going to be a cassette in there. I'm sorry about that. So it was used? Yeah, well, no, we just used it here in the warehouse while we were shipping things out. Uh, but why, were, why did you send me one that was already used? Well, why it wasn't used. No, it's, it's brand new. But we were listening to the Mormon church sermons in it, and we left the cassette in there accidentally. We're just making sure it worked for you. You were 
what? We were just making sure it worked. Oh, okay. You know? Okay. Durr. So uh, I get to listen to the Mormon sermon. Yeah, yeah. Basically, you get something extra. You get a free cassette. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it's all right. Well, yeah. I, I don't mind. I voted for Romney. <laughs> <laughs> that makes perfect sense. <laughs> Uh, and uh, we haven't sent out uh, your GPS cup holder or your legal will kit, um, but we we need like. Do you have a cell phone? Uh, it's just a track phone. Oh, does it do pictures? No. Oh, balls. No, uh, we canceled all our phone service. We retired, and we were paying. 200 or 200 and something a month for oh, our phone yeah. and they just sat. I know how that and is. And we're never used anymore because we went everywhere together all of a sudden. Yeah, yeah. And um, so uh, uh, we're here all the time, so it's, we decided to cancel them. <laughs> oh, I see. Uh, my but sim- anyway, my sim- uh, you, didn't need it all, you didn't need all that information. Oh, no, sure I did. No, it was really interesting. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens with retirement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, my supervisor Andrew Infor he he said to ask you if you're interested in the camel toe hider as well to go with your silicone concealers. We have a silicone camel toe hider. Um, at sixty three, I could give a shit about my camel toe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well then, why are you so concerned about your your um, you know other stuff? Uh, well, the other stuff shows. I mean, you know. Uh, on the front. I mean, the camel toe can be hidden, so <laughs> with a long shirt. So. Okay. But that doesn't look very attractive, wearing long shirts. Come on. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, no, I don't need that. Okay. I don't well, need that. Okay. Well, like, um, do you have a way to email us pictures then? Because we need pictures of your nipples so we know which size of concealer to send you. You're kidding me. No. You are kidding. Oh, no, definitely not. Like, we there's... Uh, five different sizes of silicone concealers, and we just need a picture so we know, you know, which size oh, to send. You are gross. I'm not being gross. No, no. I just like just. Oh, I'm supposed to send you a picture of my nipples. Yeah, just so so we know which size to send. I mean, we might Give send me you a one. Break. That's, no, we we don't want to send you the wrong size because then it'll look stupid. It'll, it'll look like you have wrinkly boobs. Um, I think this is not a good conversation here. I'm, I'm not going to send you a picture of my nipple. Oh, come on. I won't tell your husband. It's all right. I'll keep it on the DL. You know, I'm going to report your ass. No, listen. Uh, can you measure with a ruler then? Can you just measure and tell me? No, I'm not. We need Both a. Come are standard. You can buy them in uh, department stores. They're standard. Why didn't you do that then, huh? 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 Why? Not, why didn't you just buy one from the from Sears? Where did you get this information? It's in our computer because we're sending you all this other stuff. We're sending you the lady slippers, and the iron and the mat, and the side socket. But we just we need to know what size. Okay, do you just want me to send number three? Because we have sizes What's one. Three? That's you know that's the middle. If you don't just have crazy large nipples, it should be fine. No, I don't have crazy large nipples. Just send a medium. Okay, we'll send you the medium then. Okay. Okay, you don't have to have an attitude. Uh, okay. Oh, and we need to know also uh, if you're lactating currently. What? If it's so we know whether to send the waterproof ones. Oh, give me a break. We don't want to send you the the silicone that's not waterproof. <laughs> that was horrible, and I should feel horrible for doing that. <laughs> Let me tell her I'm the wacky morning DJ now. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hi. This is Gary. I'm the producer for the Skippy and Dippy morning show on the radio. Yeah. Um, I just want to let you know, we were just prank calling you. We're just being silly. We're just being silly because we're wacky morning DJs. We're not really with the catalog company. Then how did 
did you know about my order? Oh, they, they share all the information with us because they think it's funny. Like if we prank call their customers, it's like a, a deal we have with them. They give us all their customer information and phone numbers and addresses and credit card numbers. And we make prank calls. It's like a wacky morning DJ thing. But we have to get permission now. Ever since that incident with the UK prank call. The queen or whatever her name was. Get my credit card numbers? Oh, no, we don't have that. No. We told them. No, to, you don't have my credit card. No, we, we told them to stop sending us credit card numbers. We're like, come on, what are we going to do with the credit card numbers? We're just, you don't have my permission. Permission to what? To use anything. Oh well, we won't we won't sell it on our, our wacky morning CDs, compact discs. We'll we'll just we'll just play it on the air in the morning. No, you won't. Yeah. Uh-huh. As a matter of fact, uh, I'm talking to my nephew, who's a lawyer. You He's are right now. Inf- if they have given us information. Oh no no it's you're o- in trouble. No, it's okay because it's just a, it's just a fun wacky thing for the wacky it's morning. It's not a fun wacky thing. It's for it's st- a, an invasion of privacy. No no it's for s- Skippy and Dippy. Like do you get listen- off my phone? Do you listen to get them? off my phone? What no I'm what how what do you mean get off your phone? Don't call back here. I'm not going to, but we just can I get your permission to air? Can I send you? No, a- you have no. You do not have my permission. Okay, can can I send you a, a release form? Can I fax you? Do you have a fax machine? You can stick it up your ass. Oh, get that's off my phone. That's vulgar. Don't. I'm gonna report. I'm get off. No, that's not what I said. Get you, off my phone. You acted like it was. Don't call me back. Well, listen. We're gonna. Well, if you want to hear yourself in the morning, maybe you could call in, and it'll be funnier that way. At Ten in the morning. Okay. You use anything of mine, and you'll be sued. No, don't sue me. You're not allowed to sue us. It's against the rules. Oh, no, it's not against the rules. Get off my phone. Uh, hey, listen, you hang up the phone. You you hang up this phone. Right now, you hang it up. Hang up the phone. <laughs> Ma'am? <laughs> she hung up the phone. I don't know why I was playing the music the entire time. I wasn't even thinking, but I had music playing the whole time. <laughs> Junkie Man from the chat room says, She sounds like a smoker. Offer her a pack of Virginia Slims. Oh, I, I wish I would have been able to do that, but I think I need to delete her name and stop calling her. All right. You people in the chat room, you people that are named Horse... You need to change your nicks, or bad things are going to happen to you. To change your nicks, yes, C. Kremlin, she can hear the tunes. I, I shouldn't have had those playing. I'm dumb. If you want to change your nick, type in slash nick, space, and the nick that you want to be. I suggest slash nick, space, Lux is a big dummy. Fuck you, Lux. So these are going really well. I mean, like two in a row have... <laughs> they were even more hilarious when I told them I was a Wacky Morning DJ producer. I'm happy with that. I'm going to keep that one off of my YouTube channel, because I know she's going to sue me. <sighs> this next lady bought boring stuff. She bought bed skirt pins and a bracelet buddy. Let's see what a bracelet buddy is. Wow, these silicon concealers, they have uh, <laughs> they're showing nipples on the thing. Alright, bracelet buddy. All right, a bracelet buddy eliminates forever the frustrations, fumbling, and contortions associated with fastening even the most difficult of bracelet claps, clasps. It's like having an extra hand. The patented clip secures one end of your bracelet, allows, allowing your free hand to wrap it around your wrist and secure the clasp. Help for, helpful for arthritis sufferers. Comes with instructions and a carrying case. So like the hand that you're putting the bracelet on, you hold this tool 
and there's like an alligator clip on the end of it that holds the bracelet while you, you know, connect it to the other end of the bracelet. It's actually not a completely stupid thing, I guess. But that's not that's not very hilarious. I don't know. And then the bed skirt pins, you know, I figure those are just bed skirt pins. I don't know. So what should I say to bracelet lady and bed skirt pins lady? I'm going to be harassing old people all night. I know what I'll say to her. Dick Soup says to say it works also as a cock ring. Hello. No one is available to take your call. Hello. Hi, is this Sarah? Yes. Hi, I'm calling from the catalog ordering company that you ordered the bed skirt pins from and the bracelet buddy. Right. And I just had a question about your order. Okay. Like You live in the Chicago area, correct? In the suburbs? Yeah, yeah. You live in the same area that I do. Um, like, on that bracelet, buddy, I was just thinking, like, I, I work in the shipping department here, and if you need someone to help you put bracelets on, I could come over and help. No, thank you. No, I mean, I mean you know, I could hold the bracelet while you... <laughs> Why not? <laughs> that was so rude. I think it's music break time. I need to go downstairs and get another drink. I'm all out of orange juice. Night Eagle says I have to take off the music. Okay, I'm taking off the music. Sorry, Night Eagle. I didn't mean to upset you. Um, okay, so I'm going to take a small break. Just three minutes. Maybe four minutes. Just, you know, a song or so. So everyone, take a break. It's break time. It's 8.55. Okay, I think every hour we should have like a ten minute break. Or a two-song break, not ten minutes. A two-song break. Six to eight minutes. That's what I'm going to do. Six to eight-minute break. That's what we're doing. I'll, I'll be right back, you guys. Matt. What's up, Sugar Bridges? Hey, baby. Are we going to make old ladies cry? Yeah, I thought you could just try one call and then I'll hang up on you. That's all right. You, you, I, was, I was in the chat being like, you're a motherfucker. <laughs> this poor old lady. She's like, <laughs> I had family die in 9-11. That's, I was I like, that's like our shit calling the fucking lady on the respirator. I didn't even say anything about 9-11. She's the one that brought that up. Ah, I was talking about the yeah, NSA. I think you might have said terrorist. Um, I don't know. Maybe. But yeah. it, whatever. It hit a hot button shit. <laughs> this poor old lady. I was like, you're a fucking cockhead. You need to call her back. <laughs> well, I did. But yeah. it's, I know, but it's just like flying by at a breakneck speed. <laughs> um, do you want to call this lady then? This new sure. Okay. What, what's this one about? She, uh, what garbage did she order? She you can put it in the chat. A whole, whoa, something crazy happening with Windows. It's trying to sign me into something somehow, called Link. Somehow it's all right to be evil if I'm involved in it. Otherwise, looking <laughs> from the outside, I'm like, you're being a real son yeah, of a bitch. Yeah, I just need you to save me. Okay, so this lady, she ordered a non-stick splatter shield. Uh, is that the thing that goes on top of the, the pot? No, no, okay, I'm looking at a picture. 
Yeah, I oh. thought it was the thing that sits on top of the pot. No, this, my mom has one of those. It's oh, no, like this, silicone. This is stupider looking. I just posted you a link. A non-stick splatter wow, shield. Sticky spray is calling it, me. Jesus it's, Christ! It's, it's like when it rains, it pours. Yeah, fuck that guy. Fuck sticky. Oh, it go. It's like I a. Like, it, wow, it, he's calling me again. Jesus Christ, it's, dude! It's three walls that goes around the pan. Like, cause you don't, oh, you don't want it. Like, yeah, like, dude, sticky spray. Stop calling me, dude. So instead of instead of cleaning your oven, you're gonna clean the shield that goes around your pot. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not an oven. It's a stove. Oh my god, sorry, that's whatever. Stupid. Okay, ready. Uh, her name is yeah. Ev- Evelyn. Yeah, is she okay? Is she frying up a abortion, abortion thing? What's she cooking? I'm pretty sure that's that's right. Yeah, Evelyn, Jesus Christ, she's gonna be like cooking on a hot plate and doesn't want it. Jesus Christ, everybody's Lux. Hello? I said your name. Hello. Yeah. Evelyn there. Calling. I work for she ordered a non stick splatter shield. I had a couple of questions before we sent it out. You work for yes, mother, sir. Or? Yes, sir. We sell junk through the mail. Okay. And she's well, ordered a non stick splatter a shield. Customer at midnight, then? Oh, it's what is it? Too late? Have you already fucked her to sleep for the night? Huh? Who the hell no, is you listen. You talking listen. Like that in the middle of the night. I, I'm calling about the lady that ordered the splatter shield. Typically, that's that's ordered by people that want to fry up abortions in a pan, and they don't you know, want. I don't, I don't know what letter you're talking about, but if, stuff. if she wrote a letter, it's legitimate, and you could call back and talk to her at a legitimate hour. Oh, could I? Her. Okay, I'll call back <laughs> early in the morning. <laughs> morning. Right, sir. Stupid. <laughs> okay, Jesus Christ. You want to try one more? <laughs> that didn't go well. I mean, it was. I th- I thought it went very well. Yeah, that's true. Okay, uh, this lady. Dude, the fact he said call back, he didn't be like, "This is bullshit." You're fucking full of you, shit. You can tell he's just annoyed with his wife for ordering things. Her, her mom. <laughs> Yeah, Come to whoever. his mother. She's able to move one hand that works on the mouse. <laughs> click, click. I'm ordering more shit. Click, click. I'm, I'm spending your inheritance, <laughs> honey. Sad. Yeah. It's fucking sad. All sad right. all around. This lady ordered an internet logbook. Hold on, let me make sure. I want to see what that is. Oh, I think that, that's, that's one like of those... the book that you sent me. No, yeah. no, it, it's like... Yeah, you you enter all your passwords in it. It's internet address yeah, and so, password. So it's, it's a piece of paper. It's a fucking notebook. Yeah, it's it's a notebook. You could buy one at um, Target for a dollar. Yeah. Okay. She ordered. Okay. She ordered that. She ordered a side outlet six. It, it you plug it Sad. into your wall and it puts the outlets on the side instead uh, of in the front. Oh, that's that's good. That'll definitely cause a fire hazard problem. <laughs> and she's fucking hacks her in a way at DevCon six. Let, let her know we, we need we need to let her know that um we're not responsible for fires. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think the abortions from the last she fucking Thing cause she, the fires. She, That's why you need a splatter shield. She, you can't just be cooking abortions up. She uh, she ordered a one second needle, which is like a thing that helps her thread needles. Oh, does it take one second to do it? Uh, her name's uh, Di- Di- fucking, Diane. It's calling at twelve o'clock at the fucking midnight, talking to voicemail. You stupid cunt. Hello. Hi, Diane. This is Maddie calling from... I want to talk to you about the internet logbook you ordered and the bacon press. The one-second needle, you know? Yes. The the six-outlet outlet thing. And I just want to let you know off the bat, we're not responsible for, for the fires that will cause. It's not even a maybe. That thing will definitely cause a fire. And it won't be on us. And hopefully it'll burn up your internet logbook. 
so you won't be able to fucking backtrace, you know? How you doing tonight? You doing okay without the banger press? She's like, oh, my night could be so much better if I could just press bacon properly. I think she's gone. Yeah. Okay, one, one more try. And then I'm... <laughs> And then I'm hanging up on you, yeah. stupid. Yep, exactly. That's all right. I got I got jailbait to talk to. <laughs> Ken's trying to cause trouble again, saying the stream's down when it's not. Jesus. Fucking Ken. Your stream's down, Ken. <laughs> Your mom's stream is down. You've reached our house. We are unable <laughs> to get to the phone. One, one, oh, crap, crap. No, no. <laughs> Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, I hung up on Matt. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, Hello. One, last try. Sugar versus last try. This, this, this is Diane again. Yeah. Come on, I'm shooting. Everything's coming out. Big Diane money, big money, morning. big money. <laughs> big money, no whammies, no whammy. Stop. Yeah. Hey, Diane. <laughs> Diane. You are definitely not a whammy. How you doing, sugar tits? You doing okay? Huh? You want to order... Look. Do we want to talk about the internet log book? She keeps picking you can up. Draw, you can draw your pictures of penises and vaginas and prolapsed anuses. You can draw pictures of that pink sock hanging out of somebody's anus and possibly a cock going into it, and you'll love it. You'll, you'll put the bacon press right on that fucking anal prolapse and burn it up. And you're, <laughs> But you won't care because you'll probably die in a house fire because of the okay, six, she's gone. six salad thing. All right, buddy. <laughs> she kept picking um, up like she's trying to star five seven you or something. <laughs> I'll start five seven you. <laughs> I'm glad I could ruin your show for a minute. Thanks, Thanks Matt. God bless you. Love y'all. Enjoy your jailbait. I will. All right, bye. All right, that was Matt. Laugh track, Matt Hillock. Matt fucking Hillock. Bill Man, don't go to bed. Just wait 15 more minutes. This next prank is for you, Bill Man. Bill Man, don't don't leave. Hold on, did Bill Man leave? Just just give it a second, Bill Man. Just just hold on. 10 more minutes, Bill Man. Don't leave. This next one's from Mississippi. Okay, this lady ordered bird tumblers. I'm going to Go to their website, see what a bird tumbler is. Bird tumblers are cups. Bird tumblers are insulated tumblers with a color, colorful bird motif that keep drinks ice cold for hours. They have a double walled design that reduces condensation so there are no sweating and no ring marks. There's a set of four they're 12 ounces and 16 ounces, depending on which ones you want. They're break resistance, resistant. They're made of acrylic, and they are dishwasher safe. What can I say about tumblers, you guys? Um, tell her the guy that was supposed to draw the bird <laughs> drew, drew penises on her cup. Okay, first, first wins this one. I hope she answers, because that's what I'm going to do. You're the winner first. That's a great bird tumblers. She just really needed those bird tumblers, so she called this catalog company and ordered some bird tumblers. Aww. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message. All right, she's in Mississippi, so let's let's let the phone ring for a while. Let's. Oh, by the way, okay, I noticed something while I was on break. Uh, the the stream. This. Uh, what is this? Is this my stream? Yeah, I think this is... No, it's the Madhouse stream. It's completely full. Um, like, there are 100 people listening out of 100 people in the Madhouse stream. 
And then there's 73 people on the the PLA stream. There's a lot of people listening tonight. So hi, everyone. I guess there's a bunch of new listeners. Anyway, if you're listening on the Madhouse stream, if you're on madhouselive.com, maybe you could use Mixler instead. Go to mixler.com slash madhouselive, and that way other people could get on the stream. Because, you know, people, they try to go to Madhouse right now, and it's like, stream full. We can't let you listen. And that sucks. So if you feel like... You know, be nice. You could go to mixler.com slash madhouse. And that would be nice of you. Yep, yep. Madhouse is maxed out tonight. And PLA is halfway maxed out. We're at 73 on PLA stream. All right, let's call this Mississippi lady back again. Quit breaking the streams, everyone. Hello? Hi, is this Miss Beatty? Uh-huh. Hi, I'm calling from the mail order catalog company toll-free service infomercial number. You ordered some bird tumblers from us today? Oh. Uh, yeah? Is that correct? Yes. Yes, I did. Okay, great. Uh, we shipped those out already. Like, you're going to get them by Thursday. Okay. But there's a small problem with them. the the guy that nor okay. the guy that normally draws the birds on the on the cups, his, his name mm-hmm. uh, his name is first. He was sick tonight, so we had um, just a another employee draw the birds on the cups, but he didn't draw oh. he didn't draw birds. He drew penises. He drew penises on your tumblers. It's what he he drew penises on your tumblers. Like on one of the cups, it's like a penis, and then on the other cup, he drew like the middle finger, like the fu finger, and then on another one, he drew a bird, but it had a penis in its mouth, and then on the third one, well, he I don't d- want something like that. I know he's a jerk. It's Chad. His name's Chad. He's he's always doing stuff like this. He's he thinks he's a jokester. He thinks it's really funny, and he's being artistic or whatever. But it's not funny to me. He's drawing like penises on your tumblers, and they're already been shipped out. And you done not send them out. Yeah, we already sent them. So you're gonna get tumblers that have penises on them. Well, send me some the head, and I'll send them back. Okay, it, we're gonna have to wait because the guy that draws the birds on the tumblers, he's been sick. He has the flu. There, there's one bird on the fourth tumbler. There's a picture of a bird. He drew the bird on there, but he's eating a sandwich. And then there's another bird coming on the back of his head while he eats the sandwich. And then on the bonus tumbler, on the fifth tumbler, it's like there's three birds and they're gang raping a bird with a broken, with a, with a, with a, with a broken wing. They're gang raping a bird with a broken wing, and that's awful. That's not nice. Send me something without anything on. Yeah, you don't want gang rape on your tumblers. No. Okay. Yeah, I'm really sorry about this because it's like we've already mailed them out. You're gonna get them by, like by Wednesday or Thursday, so you're gonna get these tumblers that they, that have gang rape on them and uh-huh. and you know the f- middle finger and penises. Well, send me some with that. Okay. Well, can you send the 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 penis tumblers back? Yeah. Um, are you gonna open them up and look at them and make sure you have the penis tumblers? I probably will. I don't know. Okay, yeah, that'd be best if you open them up and look at them. Because, yeah, yeah, he, he's the one that, that painted the tumblers tonight. And he painted the wrong things on them. Okay. Because he thought, like, you know, we do, like, mail order for adult, adult entertainment stuff. And he thought he was supposed to draw penises and gang rape. They still look really nice. I'll just send them back when I get them. They, oh, bye. they still look really nice, though. Like, it's really, oh, artis- it's really artistic gang rape. <laughs> I wasn't finished telling her how artistic it was. I'm going to call her back. So thanks first for that. That was pretty funny. Hello? Hi, is Miss Beatty there? I was telling her about the the tumblers that she ordered. Hello. Hi. Is this Mr. Beatty? 
Hello. Hello. Could I talk to Mr. Could I talk to Mr. Beatty? Can't hear you. Oh, hi. Is this Miss Beatty? Uh huh. Hey, I was calling. You hung up on me because I was telling you how artistic the bird tumblers were with the gang rape on them. Well, I don't want, uh, want them. I'll send them back. And I... But, but I mean, they're really artistic. They look really nice. Like it's he's really a, a talented artist. It's just that well, he. Well, probably. Huh? But I have grandkids, and I want don't want them to see things like that. Oh, it's okay. They, like they'll see how artistic it is. They won't even care that it's gang rape. They're gonna be like, "Oh my God, look, that's beautiful." Th- those those. Well, I gotta go. Why? What, what do you have to do tonight? Go to bed. Why are you going? Sleep. Why are you going to bed so early? It's Saturday night. You should be partying it up. Well, I don't feel like partying. Could I talk to Mr. Beatty? Could I talk to Mr. Beatty? Please? Mr. Beatty? Okay. <laughs> oh, thanks for that first. First says I should tell her that uh, he drew a bird version of Tom Selleck masturbating <laughs> onto his own face. Tee. I should have said it was heat sensitive, so when you pour the milk into it, it makes the the penises go erect. That would have been hilarious. Let's see what KDK is doing real quick. Let's let's listen to the KDK stream at kdkprankcalls.com. I bet there's prank calls Carlos happening. Just went to a wedding for Craig and Jana. Maybe say you saw him and got his number from another guest because you thought he's hot. Oh, he's going to do a prank call. He's an older guy. Maybe Jill will work. Okay, so I'm going to call up his Jill, and I think Corliss is hot. Oh, Jill, you traitor. You're listening to KDK, aren't you? I knew it. I knew it, Jill. God damn it, Jill. (laughs) KDK is doing a prank call. This is... This is... This is crazy stuff. Hello? Hello, is this Corliss? Oh, he's doing that voice. What do you know? Hello? Hello, Corliss. Can you hear me? Uh, who are you oh, trying to reach? That is you. I recognize your voice. How are you doing, Corliss? I have no idea who this is. Allow me to explain, then. I was at the wedding for Craig and Jana. You remember... I still have no idea who this is. I saw you there, and I saw you dancing, and I saw that you had the moves like Jagger. And I asked around to the other guests, and I said, Who is that wonderful, beautiful man? And they said, Oh, that's Corliss. And they gave me a phone number. And I'm sorry it's taken me so long to get up the nerve to give you a call, but here I am now. My name is Jill. J I L L. You guys, this is the stuff you're missing by listening to me instead of KDK. So, uh, really, if you want to listen to awesome prank calls, go to kdkprankcalls.com. This is not a common name. Uh, I know. I absolutely do not know who you're talking about. I'm sorry, maybe you're put off by my voice. Allow me to explain. I am going through a bout of throat cancer. Cancer is always but funny in print calls. Uh, that doesn't uh, prevent me from being. Oh, Bill Man! No, don't leave yet. Hold on, Bill Man. <laughs> I'm going to do another prank call just for you. Uh, okay, Bill Man says I need to quit playing KDK and um, and do prank calls. Okay, so here I'm gonna I'm gonna make another call just for Bill Man. I'm gonna say my name is Bill Man. Uh, this lady named Lori, she ordered a computer handbook for $16.95. The computer handbook says, it's called, Is This Thing On? Okay, wait, John, uh, 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 what's his name? Ice Goose. Hey, Ice Goose. KDK sucks. Yeah, that's true. No, no, it's not true. KDK is kind of awesome. It's totally awesome. Okay, this lady... You know what I'm doing tonight. I'm calling people to order stupid things. Oh, yeah. You're telling me about that. Okay. Uh, she ordered a, a computer handbook that shows her how to use a computer. It shows her 
how to shop for a computer and set it up, how to communicate by email, how to create files and access the internet. And her name's, okay. her name's Lori. Give me a second to put my headset in. Wait, so what is this? Um, she ordered a book today for sixteen for seventeen dollars. Okay. And it tells her how to use the computer, how to use the internet. Okay. And your name is Billman. My name is a Billman. Yeah, that's important. Okay. And her name's Lori Rochette. I just posted it in in your um, Skype. Okay. And go ahead, call. Why'd you yeah. kick me? Why'd you kick me yesterday, asshole? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I didn't. I didn't know it was you. You have to say you're from the internet. <laughs> I'm from the interwebs. Memory fool, please enter your security code. Okay, memory fool. Let, let's try it one more time. We should have hacks order. Uh, that, that sounded too advanced. Yeah. Hello. Hi. I'm calling from the interwebs. You ordered one of our books today, Lori? Uh, yeah. How are you doing tonight, ma'am? Uh, it's bedtime. Oh, it's bedtime? Yeah. Well, well, welcome to the internets, interwebs. This is a great time to explore the interwebs. Uh, no, I think... I'm just... I'm sorry, oh, good night. Wake the fuck up, wake the fuck up, the internet's calling. Lori, 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 wake the fuck up! Interwebs want you. We need you to go to Meatspin. dot com. That's how you're gonna learn about the ah oh, shit. One one more time. Let's try her one more time. All right, let's harass her. <laughs> time to wake up, Lori. Someone says to tell her you're on the way for private lessons. <laughs> Okay, I'll give you one more. Um, let me delete her. Uh, this lady ordered a book on how to learn the piano. Uh, oh, crap. I <laughs> crap! I hung up on him. Uh, come back, John Holloman. Why'd you hang up on me? Because you kicked me yesterday, asshole. Oh, okay. okay. I didn't know that was you. Yeah. You maintained my innocence. Liar. Okay, I'm going to give you one more. Uh, this okay. person's name is Martha. Um, it's still playing KDK on your on the phone losers. Is it? No, it's not. Yeah, I just checked it. I thought. Do I need to refresh it? Uh, you shut up. Okay. Um, okay. Listen, this lady ordered a piano book on how to learn piano. Can you hear me? Yeah. She ordered a world map magnetic puzzle. Uh -huh. She ordered a guitar book and a wax vax. I don't know what that is. And a red cookbook holder. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm totally ready. Okay, hold on. Oh, shit. Hello? Hi, I'm Hello? calling from the interwebs. Martha? Hi, Martha. Uh... This, is, this is John Holloman. and I'm calling from the interwebs mm -hmm. about your books. You ordered some books today on how to play the piano and guitar books. You ordered some books today on how to play the piano and guitar books? Yes. Okay. Well, I'm on the way for your free private lesson. What color guitar would you want? Do what now? What kind of guitar do you want? I'm on my way for a free private lesson. Right now? Yes. Uh, yes, right, right now. As in right now. Second. Okay, hurry the fuck up. Hello? Hello? Yes? Is this Martha? Yeah, you ordered yes. a... You ordered a piano book and some guitar books? I'm on the way to give you a private lesson. No. Yo, no, I'm on the way now. I have a blue guitar, and you're going to come uh, sit on my lap? No. no and you're going to no, play no, with no, my no. guitar machines. You, would you Why like to would play? Why would you come here? Well, because I want to give you your free guitar lesson. It came with your books. No. Well, I have a guitar machine. And I was hoping that, you know, maybe I could play with you and well, you could where, play with where me. Did you, where did you find out about me? Oh, I'm from the uh, interwebs. The what? The internets. Why would my name be on the internet? Oh, because you ordered the books on the internets. 
So I'm coming from the no, internet. No, I didn't order books on the internet either. Oh, yeah. Yes, you did. You're, I'm from no, the I book didn't. company. Yeah, no, I'm coming from the book company. They hired me. I'm a third-party contractor. No, you're not. Yeah, yes, I am, ma'am. No, you're not. Hey, you it's ordered midnight here. You ordered two piano books, a no, world yeah. world puzzle, world map, magnetic uh-huh, puzzle. Yeah. No, and thank you. I don't want it. Well, you don't really have a choice now, do you? I that's, do have a choice. That's what you Goodbye. ordered. No, you don't, bitch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Call her back one more time. Ah, uh, okay. I guess. Hold on. I feel like she actually did want it. Hi, I'm calling from the interwebs about the free guitar lesson. Sir? You need a quick call on here. Uh, Sir, I have no choice. They tell me if I don't come, they'll beat me. So I'm on my way. And if you you guys could just sit on my lap while I teach you how to play guitar. Why why not just call the police then? Why would you call the police? Why would you call the police on me? Oh, shit. Crap, the police oh, is coming. Gonna turn the tracers on one more time. Let's make it three. No, that's harassment. We can't do that. I've called her like four times now. <laughs> All right, one more time. Last time, then I'm hanging up on you. Okay. Hello. Hi, sir. I don't want you to call the police on me. I just want you to sit on my lap and play my guitar machines. No, you need to stop calling here. Maybe I can that. sit on your lap. Or you sit on my lap. I don't know how you want it. Ah, uh, shit! Uh, I love you, Sloth. Yeah, well, fuck you, John Holloman, Ice Goose, for kicking me from the chat room last night. Big fucking jerk. Stupid Martha. Orders things from the internet and just doesn't want them. Hey, uh, when I asked you guys to, like, uh, you know, leave Madhouse and join Mixler... That was nice. Uh, a few of you actually did, but now it's back up to, it's it's maxed out again. It's 100 out of 100 people are listening. So if you can, go listen to the Mixler instead. It's mixler.com slash madhouse live. You can leave the Madhouse chat room. I'm going to call this lady. Oh, wait. Okay, th- this lady ordered a squirrel whisper. I need to look that up real quick. Oh, it's a (laughs) t-shirt. Okay, here's what the description says. The description says, Psst, listen closely. Squirrel Whisper t-shirt features an an adorable image of two secretive squirrels plotting some manner of mischief. Whimsical t-shirt is made of 100% cotton, it's machine washable and it's imported. And on the on the shirt is two squirrels and one squirrel is whispering in the other squirrel's ear. It's the cutest thing I've ever seen. I'm pretty sure I'm going to order one of these for myself. Hello. Hi, could I speak to Betty, please? One moment. Okay. Hello. Hi, is this Betty? Yeah. Hi, I'm calling from the mail order company. You ordered a squirrel whisper t-shirt? Uh, just a moment here. Okay. I have to go in the other room. My husband doesn't hear well, and he's got the TV blasting. Oh, stupid him. Okay, yes. Okay, so you ordered the squirrel whisper t-shirt? Yeah, two okay. of them. Oh, two of them, yes, for fourteen ninety-eight each. Yes. Okay. I just want to make sure we're on the same page, because uh, that, that's kind of like a code word for cocaine. Cocaine and weed. We're going to send you one bump of cocaine and uh, like a little bit of weed. A pinch of... <laughs> no. What do you mean, no? Uh, let's, let's backtrack again. All right. I ordered two Squirrel Whisper t-shirts. Oh, Period. Who are those? Size for? large. Yeah, large. That's what I have here on the order form. Who are those yes. for? Are they for you? Yes, I'm 78 years old. Oh, and so one. And my daughter is into criminal law, and the other daughter deals with fraud. So oh. you really don't, don't want to mix things up, do you? Oh no, no, I'm not trying to mix things up. It's just that we don't actually. 
ever since no one's ever ordered one of those shirts before because it's so gay. Why? Because it's a code word. It's it's what we use to sell drugs on the DL, and the squirrel <laughs> squirrel whis <laughs> squirrel whisperer. It it's the code word for cocaine. It's really? A, it's a bump well, of. How, how, look, I've been ordering from this catalog for a long time. Yeah, I mean, I'll call her tomorrow and tell her. No, I, I can see. Like we have a lot of orders from you in the past, and that's why I was calling yeah. just to make sure. Like that, because it looks you ordered something that is part of our drug program where we send out illegal narcotics. Yeah. Well, let me tell you something. My maiden name is. Oh shit. My brother is Don. Oh fuck. So, uh, maybe you'd like a visit from him? Why would he visit me? They protect me. Why do they protect you from what? You're talking to me about selling cocaine well, th- and weed? That's what this, this shirt is about. It's it's a code word. It's like people that want to order cocaine, and they say, Hey, man, give me some of those squirrel whispers for fourteen ninety eight each. And... And you know, I feed squirrels, I feed birds, I feed dogs, cats, raccoons, possums. So it's a family joke with this family that I talk to the animals. Really? Yeah, that's why I ordered it. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll call her tomorrow. And I will tell her what's going on. I've been dealing with her for years. Who? Um, You're going to call who? A catalog company that I ordered it from. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's just that the Squirrel Whisper shirt doesn't actually exist. It's a code word for cocaine. Like, you're trying to order cocaine, right? <laughs> no, cancel the... I'll call them tomorrow. No, no, Do you we... want to cancel the order or... So well, I call and cancel. No, it's already gone through. I'm I'm in the shipping department. I just wanted to make sure because we're just we're gonna send you some cocaine. If you send that to me, I'll call the police. No, no, and you... I'll have my daughter take it, and I'll have you arrested. No, you'll get in trouble for ordering drugs over the phone, over the internet. No, the I'm sorry. You you have to be insane. You know we are highly educated people. We know what's going on here. I live in South. Oh, of course you do. Yeah, that's that proves everything. And and you say you're protected by people? Like that was weird. Like what were you talking about? Like you're part of the mob? No, I am I am great granddaughter. Oh. Of course, everyone knows who that is. Like when you get pulled over by the police, are you like, "Do you know who I am?" Is that That's right. <laughs> and they're like, "Oh, oh, yes, that's ma'am. Right. Yes, ma'am. We'll let that's you go. Right. We won't write you a ticket because you're the lily lolf. <laughs> you know something? You are really sick. I'm not sick. You're the one ordering... Have you ever taken any courses in psychology at all? Never. You no. are really sick. I'm I'm not the one ordering cocaine through mail order. I'm taping you right now. Okay, that's fine. We, we record all of our calls for quality assurance. Yeah, that's right. I'll call her and I'll cancel and I'll tell her exactly what you're telling me. And if... I've been dealing with her for a long time. I'm deadly set, set against drugs. Oh, yeah. Because I have had two nephews die because of it. Oh, so it runs in your family. That's why you're ordering cocaine. <laughs> Irwin, you've got to hear this. Ma'am, Irwin, I, I have a question. Don't talk to wait Irwin. Wait a minute. Wait no, a minute. No, 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 no. Fuck this. that guy. Listen, no. I Irwin, don't, we're not talking. the other phone. You've got to hear we're this. We're not you're talking not to Irwin. Wait a minute. Ma'am, My husband, his, it's... No, listen, I need to talk to you about two-party states and, and the legalities of recording phone calls. Yeah, okay, here. No. I know what's legal. My daughter is... Wait, here. Okay, I need to ask you Take a question. Take care of this, Irwin. Listen to this. You can't believe this. Okay, tell me what you told me. Um, something new in his life. Ma'am, is Irwin on the phone now? Yeah, he is. Yeah, he's in the background. It? He doesn't hear us, though, does he? Erwin, can you hear me? No, he can't hear us. Um, I need to ask Okay, a qu- wait, wait a minute. He's got to hear this. This is something new. Okay, now phone. he's going to come on the phone. Yeah. Erwin, <laughs> I ordered two of those Squirrel Whisper shirts from a company I've been dealing with for a very long time. Now, 
he says that, that that's a code name for cocaine and weed. <laughs> and uh, he says, I ordered that. I'm, we'll call the police after we hang up. No, don't call the yeah, police, okay. ma'am. That's stupid. Who is this guy? Ma- Sir Irwin? He said he's calling from the company I ordered those. Irwin, Ir- Irwin, are you there? Yeah. Irwin, you here? He's talking to you. Yeah. Oh, hello, Irwin. I'm. Uh, this is James from the Mail Order Catalog Company. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm. I'm just calling to confirm the order for. Uh, it's two shirts for twenty nine dollars and ninety six cents, and it's three dollars and fifty cents for shipping. Yeah. I just want to let you know we'll have those shirts out to you. Uh, we're going to mail them out tomorrow morning, and you'll have them by Wednesday. Oh, he he informed me that what this was is an order for cocaine and weed. No, I don't understand what she's talking about. We don't. That that's illegal. We wouldn't do things. Yeah. Like that. Well, look, we just had a conversation about that, and this is re- ridiculous. I, I'm, ma'am, I'm sorry. This is a Christian company, and we it's don't. All right, we I'll don't play do, back the recording. We don't do me. things like that. That that we don't use drugs here, ma'am. It's against the policy. <laughs> yeah. Well, you just told me that that. What was the idea of this? No, I, are you I, so so bored with life that you have to call and do things like this? No, I'm just in the middle of the night. I'm just confirming your order for the two T-shirts. You ordered two of the squirrel oh, T-shirts. Oh yeah, you were. You know exactly what you said, you dummy. So it's twenty. I've got it recorded here. Twenty nine ninety six plus three fifty shipping. That's going to be a total of thirty three dollars and forty six cents. And we'll have those to you by Wednesday. Well, I'll call tomorrow and I'll tell exactly what what went on here because I have the taping here. Oh, really? Um, what kind of tape recorder are you using? What's the brand name on it? My, let me read it to you. Okay? okay. All right. Look out! Look out! Look out! It's Vitek. Vitek, and then um, what's the model number? Well, it really isn't any of your business, but it, it, it's Vitek. Oh, Vitek, and then what model yeah, number? Yeah, or Vitek? If you. Um, my daughter's put it there. Uh, we had a couple of punks call here some time ago, and I called the police. And uh, it's a friend of my daughter, the policeman, and my daughter set this up I just see. in case they ever called again. Oh. And how fortunate for me that I have it, huh? I, I'm not a punk, though. Because now you've been taped. I'm, I'm just checking on your order. I just want to confirm your order and let you know it's been shipped out. Mm, yeah, we know. You you look insane. Do you know this is the middle of the night here in California? Uh, well, it's 949, so that would be more like the beginning of the night, not no. the middle. No, it's the middle of the it's night It's not even California. close to the middle of the night. It's bare, It's not even 10 o'clock. You people, you sick. I ordered this, and, and you're, oh, my God. Look, okay. I'll, I'll hang up now. Okay. I don't and bl- you go and be a good boy and say your prayers because you'll be arrested tomorrow. I, no, I won't. You're incorrect. You bet? I won't be arrested. And you're, you're, this is illegal. You can't record a phone call. It's a two-party state. You need to read up on your federal laws. This was set up here for me because I'm 78 years old, no. and my husband's 82. It's illegal. To, I don't give you permission to record my call. No, I'm sorry. It's illegal. Uh, I am permitted to phone, to tape calls of sick people like you. You, you think a tracer can stop me? Ah, ha, 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 I bet you Irwin isn't even listening anymore, is he? he probably, yeah, he is. He probably fell asleep. He's listening. He probably fell asleep already. No, he's listening. Yeah, whatever. Well, you need to stop. Yeah, he's had a business for since he was twenty eight years old. Oh, really? Does does, does your family stupid. protect him as well? Do they all protect mm-hmm. him? Are they protect- he's a building contractor, next oh, commercial sh- building contractor. Oh, that sounds really important. Ignorance is no, the law. No, it's a job no- that he enjoyed doing Listen, and did very well. Just say your prayers. <laughs> <laughs> you're a very sick person. You're you're the one that's you know? sick. I don't I don't Let need, me I don't give take you drugs. Some advice. I don't take I've drugs. Had, I've taken courses in psychology. I would go and make an appointment with a psychologist and tell him what you do on the phone. Mm-hmm. He probably will tell you to get a life more than life. Really? Because psychologists will say things like that. They'll they'll be like, oh, you know, get, get a fucking he, life, well, you goddamn patient, say. you idiot. Is you have no? I'm not an idiot. I have a, no, no. That's a what he'd say to me because he's a psychologist, and psychologists say things like that. 
Just just stop ordering drugs on the phone, okay, ma'am? It's not. It's you shouldn't do that. Drugs, drugs are for kids. You're too you old to be that? taking drugs. You got it, Irwin? Yeah. Okay. It doesn't sound like Irwin's listening. Yeah, I think, he's I, there. I think you were lying. I don't think Irwin's really here listening. I've got a question about you people that do this. We've had people do this before. What makes you do this? You know, I've taken psychology, but I didn't take psychology of the criminal mind. What makes people sick like you? How am I sick? I'm just working at this catalog company. I'm just confirming your order. You're the one ordering drugs. No, you're drugs. not confirming my order. You need to you stop ordering drugs. <gasps> you're you cursed at me. As they come. Don't curse at me, ma'am. Don't curse you know, at me. You know, I bet you're some big, fat, old man that a woman never looked at in his life, and you're probably impotent. Oh, that's not true. I'm, oh, well, I'm very you potent. Are. People that do things like you do on the phone are. That's so you rude. You sit there and you masturbate while you're on the telephone. <laughs> I'm almost finished. Yeah, well, I... Uh, we did have this. Oh, uh, thank God. That was so Professor great. Ramsey that really ran us through shit. that force uh, of people like you. Fuck yeah. I wish Ken was <laughs> on the phone it's with true. me. You know what you are. I do. Take a good look at in the mirror. But and I, I, why don't you kill yourself? I don't take drugs, though. Like you do. Oh, she's gone. Uh, I, I really need to just take a look at myself at this point. I feel bad about my life and everything I've done. And So the lady with the squirrel whisper shirts knows that I'm fat. Damn it, damn it, damn it. The fucker says I jerked off all over the shirts. No, I'm not going to save her number. That's crazy. That would, that would be harassment. That was weird when she was telling me that her family protects her. Dropping all those names and <laughs> do you know who I am? Hey, Baz. Hey, you know what? You've got a sick criminal mind. <laughs> Hold on, I'm still masturbating to that lady's voice. Okay, yeah, me too. <laughs> She's <was> hot. <laughs> that was a, that was pretty bizarre. That was that was that was. Very entertaining. I feel like she was psychic because she knows I'm a fat masturbator. Yeah, yeah. And, and what did she say that no woman has ever touched you? Yep, it's true. So how do you explain your kid? Immaculate conception? or oh, I, I lied <laughs> about the kids. Oh, okay. That's right. Would you like to talk to a lady about her shower curtain? About her shower curtain? Okay. Should I just say I'm from the mail order people? Yeah. Okay. Um, she ordered a shower curtain black slash gray for 1995 okay her name should i tell her that the person that does the paints the shower curtains was gone today <laughs> <laughs> and instead of painting it black they accidentally painted a big mural uh, of penises, penises on <laughs> what's the name uh shirley try and stretch it out because i'm masturbating okay you're not done yet no i was just kidding when i told her i was done <laughs> Sorry, I missed your call. Please leave your name, number, and a brief message. Balls. <clears throat> now, the first call just woke her up. Oh, it's busy. It's Yeah, she was probably trying to pick up. Oh, it's like her answering machine. Oh, it's yeah. It's got to rewind or whatever. I was going to tell you, I think your audio is bad, so I'm going to listen to Katie K. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, didn't she say Katie K always tells you you have bad audio? Oh, yeah. My audio is bad tonight. No, it's fine. <laughs> Someone says that the shower curtain have, has blood all over it, and you're just calling to confirm that's what she wanted. Your call. Please leave your name, number, and a brief message, and I'll get back to you soon. Oh, Billman, wait, wait. Don't hang up yet, Billman. Don't stop listening. This next call's for you, Billman. Bill, Billman's getting ready to leave. Okay. No, Bill Man, don't go. Yeah, hold on, Bill Man. We're doing this call specifically for you. You're, say it's your name. Be hilarious. Say your name's Bill Man. This guy ordered a hundred foot pocket hose. Okay. And um, hundred foot pocket hose. Yeah, it's one of those hoses that like inflates. Okay. It, so it's like really small. Just like, ask him, are you gonna wear that in your pop? Keep it in your pocket. Hold on, Bill Man. Just wait. What's the name? 
Oh, uh, Joseph. Sorry, I missed your call. Please leave your name, number, and a brief message, and I'll get back. Okay, I'll give you one more chance. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, okay, would you prefer a swiveling TV stand or a green or a lotion applicator cheese slicer? <clears throat> uh a lotion applicator slash cheese slicer? No, no they're separate things. <laughs> okay. Uh, she, I, I didn't ask for the spelling on these. So she got a tag away, a green brush, a lotion applicator, a cheese slicer, two wrap tastics. What the hell? And a f- uh, she got a free pendant. Let me okay. see if there's wrap tastic. Oh, and her name is. Um, Shit. Elizabeth Lancaster. There's nothing for Raptastic. I must have heard that wrong. Hello, this is the Lancasters. We are busy at this time. They're busy at this time. <laughs> She's in um, North Carolina. That's her accent. Uh, I just wanted you to do one, one call, and then I'll hang up on you. That's okay. Hold, hold on, Bill Man. <laughs> Bill Man says he used the cheese slicer to circumcise himself. <laughs> okay. I'll say that our warehouse guy, Bill Man, used the cheese slicer to give himself a circumcision. Hello, this is the Lancasters. We are busy. Balls. Right. Are you usually on with uh, Brent Westwood? Uh, Yeah. Well, I usually call in when he lets me call in. <laughs> uh, what's What's he doing this weekend? Why, why can't he do a show? You know, I'm not sure. Nah. What an asshole. Uh, although I did hear from Cobra that uh, they probably will be doing a show sometime in the next couple of weeks. Good. Hello, this is Lancaster. Oh, she picked up right at the end. Fuck. Oh, okay, got to try one up. more time. All right, let me try one more. So she ordered like the cheese slicer yeah. thing. Yeah, she got the okay. che- cheese slicer, the lotion applicator. Hold on, while the machine's resetting, let me type in lotion applicator. Okay. Uh, it's it's a a back cleaner, you know, like a back scratcher. This is okay. like a thing you use in the shower to clean your black, your, clean your back. Long, okay. Long reach lotion applicator lets you apply creams to, to your back. All right. <laughs> Uh, okay. Could well, offer some more advice on how to use it. <laughs> I'll come over and put some cream on your back, honey. <laughs> so you can also use it to put cream, hemorrhoid cream, in your ass. Hello. Hello, Elizabeth Lancaster. Yes. Who is this? Yes, my name is David Snoswell. I'm calling from uh, the mail order company. You ordered some items from our company today. Is that correct? That's correct. Yes. Um, can, I'm just calling to confirm your order. You ordered a, a lotion applicator. Yes. And a cheese grater. Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, th- there seems to be an, a little problem with the cheese grater. I just thought I should tell you it's been shipped out. Um, we found out that one of our warehouse workers, uh, Bill Man, um, he said he had a he told us that he had a hot date lined up for tonight and he hadn't been cut. So he used that cheese grater to give himself a circumcision in the back room. Uh, I just thought we should know that. So you might not okay, want to use it or you, or you might want to scrub it thoroughly with some disinfectant before you use it to slice cheese because he did use it to remove his, his foreskin because he was afraid that his date would be offended by um, his uncut penis. Okay, who is this? What's uh, your name? T- David Snoswell. Are you sure your last name? S-N-O-S-W-E-L-L. Okay. Um, yes. Is that what you're calling about? Yes. Well, we felt that we had a, you know... A duty to call and inform you that there might be a little bit of a problem with that cheese grater, and you should scrub it thoroughly. You can use some Comet cleanser that that should remove the residual pieces of foreskin that might be clinging to the the cutting surface. 
And then it should be fine to go. You could use it to cut pepper jack or or mild cheddar, uh, no problems. But okay. I just we just felt that you needed to know that. Oh, and also we have some tips for your your lotion applicator. Um, uh-huh. Some of our other customers have informed us that it's actually very useful for applying hemorrhoid cream into your asshole. So if you have hemorrhoids, okay. Now, I thought it was a helpful tip. <laughs> that was pretty amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it was a little bit lame, but what the hell? Stupid well, Bill Man. <laughs> are you happy, Bill Man? <laughs> Did that satisfy you? I, I'm going to try her one more time. Maybe you can tell we got disconnected somehow. <laughs> if not, I'll hack our machine. I'll try, okay. I mean. Reminder about the free pendant she got for ordering enough merchandise. Oh, yeah. It's, it's a penis pendant. <laughs> Hello, this is the Lancasters. We are Here, let me leave a message. Time. But just leave your name and number, Maybe. and we call you right back. Uh, Miss Lancaster, uh, we also wanted to remind you that you will be getting that free pendant, and it is a penis pendant, and uh, it is big enough. It's anatomically correct, and you can stick that in your vagina, and you can also do that while you're applying the hemorrhoid cream into your asshole. That will be all. Have a good evening. Bye. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> okay. You made a person unhappy, so thanks for helping okay. out. Thanks, thanks, Brad. Good <laughs> right. show. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Baz. Thanks, Bill Man, for sticking around. I'm going to stop, you know, making you stick around. Um, it's uh, 10.07, and you know what that means. It's time for a song break while I go refill drinks and urinate. So, um, if you're listening to the show and you need to refill your drinks or urinate or whatever, now is the time to do it. I'm going to play at least, I'm going to play just three songs. Three songs. Wait, let me see if the correct song. No, that's not it. That lady before said something about a wonderful world, so I was trying to find that song, but I don't have it. So, God damn it. Anyway, I'm going to play this this other song. I'm going to play three songs. So, we're going to play three songs. That's going to be like nine minutes, and then I'll be back for prank calls. Oh, my God, they're infecting the city. They're coming down from the sky. I'm, I'm scared. It's kind of crazy and full of metal nuts and bolts. Oh, I understand. I woke up in a dumpster feeding for crack. I had a broken arm and a bruise on my nutsack. And I just got ass Ass. from this fat bitch who's got her eye on my bus pass. But she's got a mustache. Won't you please get out of my trash? Okay. Then this alien on a galactic mission told me a bunch of shit and he was hoping I would listen. You live the grimy life and so dirty, not clean. You're a hardcore punk like Avril Lavigne. And you know these machines from outer space? The ones that eat batteries and smoke toxic waste? They came from the sky when I was eating pie. I wasn't even scared, so I didn't even cry. I wasn't even high. I wouldn't even lie. I saw these robots, but I didn't run and hide. Rapping robots from outer space. Rapping robots will steal your ash. Rapping robots will fuck your face. Uh-oh. Rapping robots will molest your ass. Rapping robots from outer space. Rapping robots will steal your ash. Rapping robots will fuck your face. Rapping robots will molest your ass. I wake up in my clothes, I fuck a lot of hoes. Do aliens exist? Nobody knows, but I know that aliens do exist. I know because an alien gave me a kiss, so I gave him a hug and he shook my hand and he said, I'm from Japan. Cause aliens are good and robots are bad. A robot's brain is controlled by the man. Saw this robot in the back of my barn. What'd you do? I beat him up with my prosthetic arm. Rapping robots from outer space. Rapping robots will steal your ass. Here you go. Rapping robots will fuck your face. My face. Rapping robots will molest your ass. Rapping robots from outer space. Rapping robots will steal your ass. Rapping robots will fuck your face. Rapping robots 
molest your ass. Rapping row ass, they curse and cuss. Fucking shit. Rapping row ass are first on the bus. Rapping row ass immersed with rust. Rapping row ass are dirty like dust. They're dirty like dust and they're dirty like dust. What the? Jim, shut, shut up. up. Space alien ray gun away, please. Ah. Embarrassing me. Okay, I'm back. Um, something's wrong with Madhouse, the stream. It's broken. I don't know what's wrong with it. It's broken, though. We've lost 100 listeners. Uh, there's a bunch of new people on the Mixler, so at least a lot of people have figured it out and gone to the Mixler. There's like 58 people listening on Mixler. So I guess it's pointless to say, but, you know, like if you got kicked off of Madhouse, hopefully you know to go to Mixler or go to phonelosers.org and it'll work and hopefully Madhouse will come back. Because I don't know what happened to Madhouse. It's just broke. It's down. Nobody can listen. Mixler.com slash Madhouse Live if you can't hear me. I should have... I should just start insisting on the beginning of shows. Everyone goes to Mixler because... Just in case, you know, in case the streams are get all full and stuff. I don't think we've even called half of the numbers that I got. Let me count real quick. I had 21 originally. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, okay, 9. Well, plus 2 that didn't answer. So 11. Anyway, I have nine numbers still to call from this catalog company. This next one ordered a swiveling TV stand for $36.50, which qualified him for the free garden pendant. That's a boring item. Swiveling TV stand. The name is Roberta. Which is a female name, but the lady remembered, and she told me, she's like, uh, but it was a male that, that ordered the thing. So, a male ordered it, but the name on the order is Roberta. So maybe he ordered from his wife, or his wife. Maybe it's a surprise. Maybe we're going to ruin the surprise. I don't know. I don't know. Damn madhouse. What's wrong with Madhouse? I think the server needs to be reset. I think I think there's just too many people on it. <laughs> Alright, Horse2617 says, Tell Roberta that the, sta- the stand is sawed in half. <laughs> okay. That sounds as good as anything as I'm going to come up with for a TV stand. Yeah, that lady was really proud of her psychology courses that she took. Right, Ken? I mean, right, Acres? Not Ken. Fuck Ken. Ken's stupid. Ken likes to kick me for no reason. Oh, it, it disconnected. Let me try again. Last time, for real this time. Sorry. You're unable to come to the phone right now. But- <sighs> Alright. This next lady... Hold on, let me type this in to the... Ch- the search Heaven Cat book. This lady ordered a book called See You in Heaven. All See You in Heaven books are the perfect gifts for anyone who is grieving the loss of a beloved pet. Inspirational books offer wisdom, comfort, reassurance that we will we will be reunited with our cats and dogs in the afterlife. Each book features prayers, blessings, and Bible passages, plus other uplifting words and stories of hope and reflection. Hardcover, 102 pages. I can't do this. I can't do this. Come on, you guys. Um, She also ordered a pause book. Should I just delete this one? I can't do this. She's grieving the loss of a pet. Pause for a moment with God is an uplifting collection of Bible-centered reflections, famous quotes, and poems inspired by the attitudes and antics of our feline friends. If you've been blessed by the companionship of a cat, you'll appreciate this delightful 
potpourri of thoughtful devotions and life lessons. On the front of the book, it says, Devotions best enjoyed in the company of a cat. <laughs> this is hilarious and everything, but I don't think I can... I don't think I can... <laughs> can, can I... <laughs> Uh, some guy named You Big Dummy has a great idea. He says, tell her it was written by Stephen King. <laughs> Someone <laughs> says, impersonate her dead cat. Hello, this is Mittens. I'm your pet cat that's dead. Oh, these are horrible ideas. I can't do this. But I'm going to anyway. Here it goes. This is an historic moment, everyone. This is the exact moment when RBCP officially is, you know, destined for hell. Going to hell. Going to hell. Please don't pick up, lady. Please don't pick up. Don't pick up. Peggy, don't pick up. Don't pick up, don't pick up, don't pick up. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. <laughs> okay, even though I don't want her to pick up, I'm trying it again. She also ordered a muscle car book for $19.98. Muscle Car Book focuses on America. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Thank God she didn't pick up. I'm deleting her number right now. Well, she, she, okay, besides the two books about her dead animals, she ordered a Muscle Car Book that has over 600 color photos to show off the incredible GTOs, Firebirds, Camaros, Trans Ams, Mustangs, and more. Known for their big, powerful engines and tire-smoking starts, these are cars that everyone still wants to drive. And you can drive in Grand Theft Auto V, now available for PlayStation and Xbox 360. All right. I'm deleting her forever. I don't want to mess with the lady's dead cat. This guy ordered something that makes sense. It's an air conditioner cover. Isn't, and, and it's a mail again. It's auto. There's a couple mail. There's several mails. There, I see another one down. Hello? Hi, I'm calling for auto. I'm calling from the mail order company. He ordered a air conditioner cover from us today. Yeah, but do you know what time it is out here? Yeah, I'm not stupid. Um, I just called because uh, we had a small problem with his air conditioner cover. What is it? Uh, we accidentally sawed it in half. So it's going to come in two pieces, and it's going to be shipped in two separate boxes. Well, now, wait a minute. And he's going to res- mean you, you sawed it in half? It, it was an accident in the warehouse in the shipping department. So well, you're, what good is it, it to us in half? You can use duct tape. Oh, no, thank you. No, I mean, like, it's already paid for, and we're going to send it. Well, like, you can give us credit for it. No, no, absolutely not. You're going to get one half, you're going to get the left half on Wednesday, and the right half on Thursday. Oh, who's calling, please? And it, it was Chad. Chad did this. He's one of the new warehouse guys. He accidentally sawed it in half. Either this is a very sick joke... What is sick about an air conditioner cover? It's just an air conditioner cover. What would be sick it's about an air conditioner cover in half? Well, what I don't. In the Sam Hill good, does that do? You can use duct tape. It's the same thing. You got to use duct tape anyway to do around the sides, right? It doesn't make sense. That I you're have gonna... no idea, but the... I I do not want it. Give us credit for it, or you're going to be in trouble. Why'd you order it if you don't want it? We didn't order two pieces. But it's the same thing. You just use duct tape, right? Like, like Chad, okay, Chad, he works in the warehouse department, and he was having a chainsaw sword fight. And the saws, 
they accidentally sawed it in half with their chainsaw sword fight. Because he tripped over his shoelace. This sounds really stupid. Well, I'm sorry. You know, like maybe they're not the most educated people here in the warehouse, but they're the ones. You're not sounding very smart. Okay, that's fine. If you want to insult my intelligence, whatever. I'm just the night guy here. You're insulting mine by sending out a sawed in half item. Well, it's not our fault. Chad tripped over his shoelaces. Yeah, sure. Sure. So it's not his fault. It's just an accident. So you want to send it out to us, and then we're going to send it back? Is that the idea? No, don't send it back. You can't get a refund on this. It's not allowed. We cannot get a refund? No, you're not allowed to have refunds, because you might be scamming us. Like, if we do refunds, they're going to be in bitcoins. I don't understand this. Okay, well, I don't see why you have such an attitude and why you're breathing so heavily into the phone. Why are you breathing heavy into the phone? Otto? No. Hi, Otto. Well, well, what is this about the cover for the um, air conditioner? Yeah, it's for the air conditioner. Can you tell your wife to hang up the extension because she's breathing really heavy into the phone? I'm not breathing heavy into the phone. Is it Otto then? Otto, are you breathing heavy into the phone? Yeah. It's not me. Okay, it's you then. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. It's just, it's cut in half. We accidentally cut it in half. Chad did it. it from you the mean sh- the air, air conditioner cover is cut in half? Yeah, it was an accident. He tripped over his shoelace and the chainsaw landed on the air conditioner cover and it's cut in half now. I don't know what's going on. I just told you what's going on. This is something very peculiar is going on. It's not Chad's fault. Chad's blind, and he kind of goofs off a lot. He uses his blindness as an excuse. Hello? Hi, Otto. I think your wife just hung up on us. Yeah. Okay, so it's not Chad's fault. He's blind. So if if you refuse the air conditioner cover, it's kind of like... It's kind of like you're um, discriminating against his disability. So we're going to send you half of the air conditioner cover on Wednesday and the other half on Thursday. This is a weird call, and I don't understand it. But the reason I'm calling you is because you have to pay Chad's medical bills. Pay what? You have to help pay Chad's medical bills because he hurt himself on your air conditioner cover, and it's your property. I still don't understand. I'm I'm saying you're going to need to help pay Chad's medical bills. It's over $900. How much? $900 for Chad's medical bills because he tripped on your air conditioner cover. I have to pay. I'll get a lawyer. Well, why? Why would you do that? Is this a cover for the air conditioner? Yeah, yeah, it's for the air conditioner cover, but it's cut in half. We cut it in half with a chainsaw by accident. It was Chad's fault because he was goofing off. But he hurt himself when he was cutting it in half. And, like, you don't need to bring lawyers into it. Chad has eight kids. Well, I still don't understand what's going on. Okay, well, I've told you several several times now. And your wife yelled at me about it. Okay, what, what's this about the medical bill? Yeah, Chad hurt himself. He had to go to the emergency room tonight because he was using a chainsaw and he accidentally cut your air conditioner cover in half. Okay, well, why do I have to pay his medical bill? Because it's your air conditioner cover. It's your property. And that's, that's what he tripped on when he w- they were having chainsaw fights in the warehouse room. You know, so that's that's the reason. It's your property. Well, and let it, let him pay his own medical bill. Well, no, I I would, but it's your fault. Cause, My fault. Yeah, because it's your property that caused the damage. We 
Jared. I'm sorry? It's your fault that this happened. He tripped over the air conditioner cover and sawed it in half. They were doing, like, sword fights with chainsaws. Well, that's that's all part of your your uh, business. Yeah, but he tripped over your air conditioner cover, and that's what made him fall and hurt himself. Well, that's 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 part of your your business. You may as well blame Obama. Are you going to blame Obama next? It's not our fault. It's your fault. It's the air conditioner cover. You're the one that owns it. I, I still don't understand what's going on. Well, Chad, Chad couldn't go, get medical coverage because of the government shutdown this week. So he says he's going to sue you guys. He's taking you to court. And his, his sister and his mother, they're lawyers. But, but when you're in a business and something happens, that's, that's your fault. Not if it's your property that tripped him. Like, why'd you leave the air conditioner cover in the middle of the floor like that? It belongs... Jesus, I, I think this is a weird call. Well, you can call me names all you want, but I'm just saying, we're going to send your air conditioner cover in two pieces. And, and you might have to go to court about the medical bills. Call me tomorrow. Cause when when Chad fell down on the floor, he fell on his meth pipe, and it, it hurt him in his stomach. His meth pipe. He landed on his meth pipe, and it cut his stomach. Like a, a Call side. me tomorrow. Well, do you understand what's going on? Like Chad fell on his meth pipe. I I I ordered an item, and you people have a. Uh, it's your fault what happened. Well, it's your air conditioner cover. It tripped us. You left it in the middle of the floor. Jesus. I don't understand. Oh, why do you breathe so heavy on the phone, Otto? Can't, can't you hold the phone in a different position where you're not breathing into it? Am I breathing heavy? Yeah, yeah. It's really... I'm it's, an old man. It's erotic. and it makes me, It's really erotic, and it makes me uncomfortable. Well, I can breathe in any way I want. All right. When, when he fell down on his meth pipe, the chainsaw landed on his head, and now he needs to buy a new one. What the hell would you want a chainsaw for? Because we ship those in the in the warehouse room. We ship chainsaws. We ship all kinds of things here. But But they were doing chainsaw sword fights. And he tripped over your air conditioner cover. That's what I'm trying to tell you. God. That's why it's your fault. You're, you're just trying to shove off something onto me that doesn't belong. It's all your fault. You left your air conditioner cover out in the middle of the floor. It I sh- left it on the floor? Yeah, it shouldn't have been out there, and they wouldn't have tripped over it. I, I never received it. I know, but you bought it. It's yours. It belongs to you. Call me, call me tomorrow. Why? Why tomorrow? I've already told you what's going on tonight. So that's all. That's We're done. We're done now. I'm done talking to you. This conversation is ridiculous. I don't see why you're treating me like this. That's, your, that's all in your business. I know. Chad had virtual reality goggles on, is what Superhorse says. And then first told me that Chad was trying to eat a popsicle while, while, while he was sword fighting. And he needs a new popsicle now. This is admission of guilt on your part. You're admitting guilt. I don't know what's going on. What? I don't know what's going on. Oh, can I talk to your wife again? No, she's in bed. Chad needs money. <laughs> For pot brownies. When when you have a business and something happens in your business, the medical bill is yours. This is business 2.0. We're on the web. 
We're in the interwebs. It's different now. Okay, fine. Listen, I'm just kidding. I'm a wacky morning DJ. We're just making a prank call to you. What's that? Just kidding? Yeah, I'm just kidding. There's no Chad that works here. We fired Chad months ago. I, I just, we were doing a wacky morning show. I still don't understand what's going on. It's just a joke. We can all laugh now. This is all a joke? Yeah. It's a hilarious joke. Okay. We were just kidding around. Chad's fine. Chad's all right. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna play this f- wacky phone call on our morning show. On your morning show. Yeah, on the radio. You're gonna be on the radio tomorrow because this was so funny. I, I still don't understand. It's just a joke. There's nothing to worry about. We're not gonna sue you after all. Thank goodness. Yeah, yeah. We don't. We're not gonna sue you. That's dumb. And 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 you're not gonna cut the. Uh... The cover. Oh no, that part's real. We're, we're, we we cut your air conditioner cover in half, and we're gonna mail it to you. Half on Wednesday, half on Thursday. Jesus, that's still a joke. No, no, that part's not a joke. That's for real. What the hell good is a half and a half? You can duct tape it. What? You can duct tape it. Use duct tape and fix it. Why don't you duct tape it? Well, it's not my job. That's not my job description. You, why, okay. don't, why don't you duct tape it? Okay. A $9 contraption. Yeah, yeah, an air conditioner cover. It's, I would describe that as a contraption. You, you've got a funny business going there. I'm glad you approve. What? <laughs> I'm, okay. I'm glad good you night. think it's funny and we're we're friends now, right? Good night. All right, good night. Have a good night. Sleep well. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, that was weird. That was really weird. Crazy auto on his air conditioner cover. Everyone was was telling me to let him go. <laughs> abort, abort. Uh, th- half the things I said was from first. Thanks, first. <laughs> he says Chad needed to cut the air conditioner cover on half so he could use each, each half for hockey bads on his leg. Stupid Chad. Fucking Chad. Fucking jokester. All right. All right. I can delete auto. Holy crap, it's almost 11. Hey, so you people in the chat room, can you uh, post URLs to the Mixler? Because it looks like people are confused about Madhouse. Mixler.com slash Madhouse Live. There are 62 people listening on the Mixler now. I think that's a record because Madhouse... Is all broken. Damn madhouse. So, uh, you know, either Mixler or you can go to phonelosers.org and it's playing on there. I don't know what happened to madhouse. Holy crap. <laughs> About a hundred people just typed mixler.com slash madhouse live. You can go in there and chat with Liz and Dark Stranger. They think they're too cool for the regular chat room. So they're chatting in the mixer. So all of these calls are brought to you by, by Hector Ding Ding. Hector Ding Ding was in the Madhouse chat room earlier. And I was asking about catalog companies for stupid merchandise. And he's like, why don't you try this company? So I tried it and... They were super easy. I just called them up and I'm like, hey, this is this is the corporate office, tech support, IT, whatever. Give me all your customer info. And every person I talked to gave me like three or four numbers. 
only one lady was just a little bit suspicious. And she's like, I don't feel comfortable giving this information out. And then she gave me two numbers. Even though she wasn't comfortable. She just gave out info. So thank you, company that I'm talking about. And thank you, Hector Ding Ding. Ooh. Ten minutes till the show's over. No, that's not true. I, I'm going to call several more of these before I quit for the night. I didn't know these would last all night. I thought they'd just last part of the night. Okay. <laughs> this this one looks hilarious. Um, this lady ordered black protectors. She ordered a batter dispenser. She ordered a hair-cutting umbrella. I'm going to... Google what that is. Okay, a hair cutting umbrella. Wow. Okay, so there's a picture of a wife cutting a husband's hair. I'm assuming husband and wife. The wife is cutting the husband's hair, and it's like a barber's, you know, those things you wear when you're getting your hair cut, a barber's thing. But instead of just draping around your body, it curves upward. It's like a big flying saucer around your neck. It's called a hair-cutting umbrella, and I'm going to read the description. The hair-cutting umbrella is an essential tool for the home stylist. Cape resembles an inverted umbrella to catch clippings as you trim, so neck, clothes, and floor are protected. Special upturned lip along the outer edges contains loose hairs until you're ready to, ready to discard them. Saves you time during cleanup. Tedious sweeping or vacuuming needed. And uh, it slips over your head and secures with a self-closed tab. Adjusts to fit neck size. Folds to store. It's made of nylon. And it's 22 inches in diameter. So you have a 22 inch diameter flying saucer thing around your shoulders. It looks really manly. You totally get laid wearing this thing. Catherine also ordered some domino holders. A UV nail dryer. Okay, hold on. I gotta see what a UV nail dryer is. UV nail dryer. A UV nail dryer speeds up drying so you can be on your way in minutes. Just place your fingernails inside this portable lightweight heat lamp immediately after applying nail polish. Built in ultraviolet light. Quickly and evenly dries nail surfaces. Ends smudged polish or ruined manicures forever. It uses three double A batteries. So it's like a light bulb and it heats your fingers, your fingernails, after you paint them. It doesn't seem like something running on three triple A batteries would be very hot. So if anyone has any ideas for those two crazy items, please post them. I'm sure First will have lots of ideas. Uh, and I look over and there's First telling about customers reported their fingers catching on fire. Hello. Hi, is this Catherine? Who's calling? Oh, I'm. Uh, this is Roy. I'm calling from the catalog company who ordered some things from us today, like the UV nail dryer and the hair cutting umbrella. Yes. And uh, I just had some uh, quick questions about your order. Yes. And uh, we're we're working on shipping those out. Um, did did they warn you about the UV nail dryer? No. Oh, apparently, in uh, more than sixty percent of all cases of people using the UV nail dryer, their fingers catch on fire. You're kidding. No. Even uh, with regular nails. Yeah, just regular nails. Even people with. Okay, reg- well then cancel it. Well, no, it's already it's we've the order is placed, so I'm in the shipping department. We're getting ready to put it in a box, but we just have to warn you that. It will catch your fingers on fire, most likely. Well, then I don't want it. Well, just don't use it when it gets there. But I'm just saying, it's going to catch your... In other words, send it back. Well, you'll have to mail it back and ask for a refund and go through the whole process. That's fine. I'm I'm getting used to that crap. Okay. Also, on the hair-cutting umbrella, Mm -hmm. there's a 60% chance that the person that you put that on is going to look really gay. Oh, that's all right. She's a hairstylist, and 
when they're getting their hair cut, they really could care less. Okay. Are you going to use it like on your husband or, or is it going to be used? No, like I'm a... not married any longer. Okay. No, is... my my hairdresser, I thought she might like it. And if she doesn't, I'll like it. Oh, her customers are going to look gay. That's all right. There's a 60% they're in, chance. They're in their home when it's being done. They can't cut hair in the home. That's illegal. They need to go to oh, a well, shop. Well, honey, it, 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 it does happen. No, that's illegal. You need to put a stop care. to that. I'm sorry. Well, if if you don't care, someone's got to care. You can't just go around cutting people's hair without a license. Yes, she does have a license. Well, she can't cut hair in people's houses. And if she uses that thing, they're all going to look gay. Well, that's fine. That that doesn't bother me a bit. It doesn't bother you that her customers are going to look really gay? No, because I may have it here at my house, and I really could care less. Are you going to use it when you get your hair cut? Yeah, it wouldn't bother me a damn bit. You're going to look so gay. You're going to look. So, I don't give a shit. You're going to look stupid and gay. Hey, are are you calling? Are are you, are you just giving me shit or what? I'm just trying to warn you. There's these. That's fine. I don't give a shit. Your fingers are going to catch on fire, and you're going to look gay. <laughs> Uh, someone named the fucker says, I need to try and sell her the anti-gay umbrella. Uh, first is offended that I called them gay. I'm sorry, first. It's true, though. You should see this picture. Ma'am? Ma'am. <laughs> All right, one more try. Hello? I just wanted to try and sell you our anti-gay umbrella. Hon, I don't, I don't want to go any farther on this, okay? Well, it'll help I, them. I place the order, ship it. Okay? I, in, instead of your free garment pendant, I can send you an anti-gay umbrella. Screw you. I didn't order. I, what I've ordered, I want, okay? I'm hanging up. Okay, Goodbye. Don't hang up. Don't. Don't. All right. They're all gonna look gay. That's her, that's her problem, not mine. <laughs> First, wants me to tell her that I'm sending missionaries to convert her from being gay. <laughs> ah, okay. Only only five left. Dark Stranger says the umbrella has teeth. I need to go into the Mixler chat room and see what's going on there. Give me one second. I'm going to go to Mixler. Mixler.com slash Madhouse Live. Yes, Eagle Man. It's like a cone for dogs. But it's for haircuts for humans. It's the dumbest looking thing ever. Okay, uh, let's see. What's next? Oh, I need to call Laugh Track Matt for this one. Because this lady ordered a set of three white hook bra extenders. Uh, and she ordered a credit card organizer. And she ordered women glove liners and sock liners. And she ordered memory foam slippers. Let's see what a credit card organizer is. Give me a second here. These are the dumbest products ever. Alright, it's just a wallet. Yeah, that's all it is. It's a wallet. They call it a credit card organizer. It's a fucking wallet. And the main picture on the main page... Is an American Express card. All right, um, all right. I'm I'm kind of looking at the Madhouse, the Mixler chat now, and someone named Hobie is telling me that the bra extenders have all been canceled due to people putting spy cameras in them so they can see them put their bras on. That sounds weirdly hilarious. I should ask her if she's fat or does she just have big boobs. Hello? Hi, can I talk to Gloria? This is Gloria. 
Hi, Gloria. I'm calling from the mail order toll-free company ordering hotline number that you ordered some items from today. Uh-huh. You ordered a uh, credit card organizer? Uh-huh. And the white hook bra extenders? Uh, yeah. Oh, we had to cancel the bra extenders. We can't sell those anymore. What's that? The bra extenders? You don't? No, we have them, but we're not allowed to sell them anymore because we have hidden cameras in them. Okay, that's fine. Cause you don't want hidden cameras because then they can see you put on your bra. You know it's going to be 11 o'clock. And they'll see you, yeah, yeah. And after that, it's going to be 12 o'clock. That's not funny. And after that, it's going to be 1 o'clock. You're real cute. Yeah, you're cute, too. All right, that's fine. I don't see why you're being like that. I need to talk to you about this, though. Um, Like, so, do you want me to send the bra extenders with the cameras in them? No. Because uh, I could send them, but, you know, they have cameras. All right, go ahead and do it. Don't be a jerk. I'm just trying to work things out here. No, 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 go ahead. I'll, I'll put my supervisor on. You want to talk to my supervisor? No, I don't. Why? Because I don't. If I put him on, will you tell him what time it's going to be next also? Sir, I just just send him, okay? But, uh, listen. Yeah. Hi, this is Matt Hillock, supervisor. How you doing, uh-huh. sir? How you doing? Yes, sir. You doing okay? I'm all right. I just got out of the hospital, so I'm not feeling the greatest. Yeah. Could you go ahead and turn up that television to make it a little harder to hear you? Hold on a second. Hold on. Yeah, just turn it up. Go ahead. Oh, you turn it down. How how uh, fucking goddamn thoughtful of you. What were you in the hospital for? It's none of your business. Oh... Did you get your cock and balls sent off? What? What what happened? Oh, uh, did you get the? What is this center? about? Oh, I want to know how big your titties are. You motherfucker! No, I just want to know. I just want to know if I can sleep on them like a cat. I can just curl up and sleep on those big fat titties with your bra extender. That you're in order. <laughs> Can you tell me all about it? Tell me about your giant titties and the hairs growing out around the nipples. Yeah, go ahead and turn that TV up loud so mom and dad won't hear. Here, they won't hear the sexy stuff. So tell me about it. Tell me all about sexy giant whiskers. You get two or three growing out of one floor. They look neat. You felt nervous at one point in your life. You wanted to tweeze each one out. But then you were just like, fuck it. I'll just have fucking furry goddamn nipples. I don't care. I need a bra extender. You know? Do you remember that day? Do you remember that day, stupid cunt? Oh, ma'am, there's an infomercial on. You better call in and order something from it. Ma'am? Hey, stupid. Stupid. Take the phone out of your goddamn massive cunt. I hung up. I think she just set the phone down or something. (laughs) How you doing, buddy? That was weird. Oh, fine. I'm good. I've only got five people left to call. Oh, out of the 21? Yeah. You've been banging away at them, huh? Yeah, well, three or so didn't answer. Well, still. And fucking A for effort, my friend. Oh, thanks. Oh, oh. You know, it was it was involving bras and stuff, so I figured you might want to give it yeah, a shot. I was like, what? I, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing there. <laughs> you <laughs> motherfucker. Like, <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't listen to the show. <laughs> yeah. I was talking to fucking Dr. Onk, and he's like, I think he's going to call you. <laughs> he's going to hang up on me. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, thanks for having me on again. Sure. 
Hold on, I gotta do something. Let me. Um, I'll be more than happy to hang around. Quick. <laughs> uh, I'm about out of things now. Um, I have one other male who ordered things. I didn't. This is the lady who was uncomfortable giving me information. So, uh, she wouldn't read me all the items, but she said he ordered ten different items. So I just need... I just need, um, some generic thing to say to him. I don't know. So I'm gonna call him. His name's Theodore. Madhouse is still broken. Hello? Hi, is this Theodore? I'm calling from the mail order catalog toll-free company number. You ordered some things from us today? Yes. Was that you or a wife? Huh? Who are, you ordered the bra extender, right? Yeah, where? You ordered a bra extender? Bra extender? Yeah, and the tights and the slippers? Yeah. Yeah, and you ordered... You ordered uh, the silicone covers... Concealers? I'm sorry, can you speak up? I can barely hear you. Huh? I can barely hear you. Speak up. Well, I can barely hear you. Well, why don't you talk louder? Well, what do you want? I'm calling about your order. Well, I ordered. Why are you t- being like that? Why are you yelling at me? No, I, I know. What you what you need? What you want? I, I'm calling about your order, Theodore. You ordered some stuff from us today. Well, yeah, so. Why are you being a jerk? Why are you yelling at me? Look, I haven't got time. It's seven thirty here. I got to go to bed. It's not seven thirty. It's only eleven thirty. Huh? It's seven eleven thirteen here. Yeah, eleven thirteen. You're exaggerating. It's not seven thirty. What do you want? Why do you have your TV on so loud? What do you want? I'm calling about your order. I need to confirm your shipping address. I gave her the address I ordered before. I already ordered. I picked. I gave you a, a, a car and everything. So what you calling around for? Well, I'm just confirming. Do you do you order the bra extender, right? The what? The bra extender to make your bra bigger. No. Because your boobs are too big. Man, I'm not a woman. Well, that, I don't have a woman here. That's what it shows on here. You ordered a bra extender. I didn't. Do you have man boobs? What? You don't have man boobs? Look, I paid for the order. I I, 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 I want to hear it no more. Thank you. Well, Bye-bye. no, no. I got to confirm things. Don't hang up. Sir, that was weird. He was so unhappy. That was weird. That was bizarre. What you want? Oh, I'm just wanted to let you know we're signing. We you get a free bra extender. Free bra. You don't have to pay for it. It's a bra extender. But I don't need. I don't have a woman here. Oh well, no, it's okay because it's free. It's a free. I don't have a wife here. But it's a free bra extender. It makes it's free. Okay, free. what? What's in there? I have a woman here. I'm by myself. I'm a man. Well, maybe you could, you know, like send it to your mom. Huh? You could. It's like a Christmas present for a woman that you know. No. It comes with a free woman. I don't want it. No, it comes with a woman. Do you want a woman? It's a free... I don't have any woman here. It's a free... No, we'll give you a woman. It's a free woman. We'll send it anyway, okay? Okay, we're going to send you a woman. Huh? She's going to be there tonight. We're going to send you a woman. Look, I'm a federal police officer. I've been with for 22 years. Oh. I don't want to hear none of this crap. You you've been, you've Thank been, you. You've been with the federal police department for 22 years? <laughs> okay. 
crap, I just pranked a federal police officer. Alright. Deleting that guy's number. Federal police officer. <laughs> I can't save the number. No, I don't save numbers anymore. That would be harassment. Let's call Barbara McClear or Barbara. Uh, she ordered two two eggs and muffin microwave cooker, and she ordered two soup spoons. So what's wrong with her order? What's wrong with her soup spoons and her microwave cooker? <laughs> that was so bizarre. What the hell was that? <laughs> that guy is not going to be able to sleep tonight. He's <laughs> I don't have a woman. I don't have boobs. Oh, fucking Chad. Why do you keep doing all this shit, Chad? Hello, is Barbara... Oh, they, they said something and they hung up. <laughs> First, your ideas are the best. I approve of your ideas. Hello? Hello, Barbara? 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 Whoa. What just happened? I think I said the c code word. <laughs> No wait, Mr. Clay, this next call's for you. Don't 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 leave yet, Mr. Clay. Mr. Clay. Hello. Hi, Barbara? Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Barbara, it's Mr. Clay. I'm calling from the mail order catalog toll free ordering company number. You you ordered some egg McMuffins? Oh, this yeah, you ordered a mic You you ordered the soup spoons today? What? You order? Did you order soup spoons from us today? Yes, but don't call. This is one o'clock at night. I'm only going to talk about it. Call tomorrow. Yeah, but I'm, I need to talk to you about your soup spoons. I don't want to talk tonight. But but there's tonight. a problem in the shipping office with about your soup spoons. It's it's really important. It's about those. Don't call back tonight. I won't. I won't. I won't, call I won't call back tonight. But can I just ask you a question about your soup spoons? Oh, Barbara, come on. Uh, come on, Barbara. Did you really hang up? Ah. All right. Did I take the eleven o'clock break yet? I think I did. Like it. Maybe. I don't know. Has it been an hour? Holy crap. Tonight's gone by fast. I still have a beer, so I don't think I took a break at 11. Is Mr. Clay still in the room? Mr. Clay, don't leave yet. This next prank's for you. Yeah, Mr. Clay's still here. Don't don't hang up yet, Mr. Clay. Um This lady ordered slippers and tights. I'm pretty sure I broke Carlito's stream. I'm sorry, Carlito. What did I do? I'm sorry. Why is the stream broken? I can't even connect to the server to reset it or anything. Hello. No one is available to take your call. Please. Wow, every time I call this one now, it's just busy. I think they took the phone off the hook. Wow, yep. every time I call this one now, it's just busy. Whoa. I think they took the phone off the hook. What just happened? Holy shit. Wow, yep. every time I call this one now, it's just busy. Whoa. I think they took the phone off the hook. What just happened? Oh my god. Holy shit. Wow, yep. every time Crap. I call this one now, it's just What's busy. going on? Whoa. They took the phone off Stop the hook. it. What just happened? Oh my god. Holy ah, shit. Ah. Crap. Crap. What's going on? Whoa. Stop it! Just oh my god! Holy ah. shit! Crap! What's going on? Whoa.
Stop it. Oh my the space time God. continuum ah. is broken. All right, yeah, I had, I don't know why it just started, but it's because I had uh, the the Mixler chat room open in the other window. Just out of nowhere, it started talking at me. I think I'm done. I, I've called all the numbers. So uh, on the Madhouse Radio Network, when I don't break the stream, uh, there are a lot of shows happening throughout the day. If you hang out in the Madhouse chat room, people post links to all kinds of different shows. Some of them are on the Madhouse stream. Some of them are on Mixler. Chances are there will, there will be a show tomorrow night by somebody. And if there is, I will give them these last four numbers to call during the daytime or you know or earlier in the evening. Anybody who wants these, just ask me. I have four of them left. Unless this person answers, then I have three. So everyone listening should be hanging out in the Madhouse chat room every single day. Sorry, I missed your call. Please leave your name, number, and a brief... Yeah, so four numbers left. Anybody who does a show tomorrow, you can have these. They're yours. You can talk to this guy about his 100-foot pocket hose and this lady's shower curtain... And the swiveling TV stand that fucking Chad accidentally cut in half. And the slippers and the pair of tights. None of those people answered. <sighs> Superhorse says Chad was driving his car in the warehouse again. Goddamn Chad. Chad gets on my nerves. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I should try and do a few uh, Yelp check-in pranks before I quit for the night. I think that's a good idea. Maybe we can take a break of, I don't know, one song or two. And, yeah, that's what we'll do. We're going to take a small break. Be right back. Holy crap, everything's breaking. I just got disconnected from IRC. People are telling me the madhouse, the mixler's broken. I don't know what's going on. It's I think I'm being attacked. I think Madhouse is being attacked by a DDoSer. I think Death Fox is fucking with us. Death Fox and his elite hacker skills. So maybe it's the best maybe it's a good time to quit for the night. Cause Madhouse is broke, Mixler's broke, I think the chat room's broke. I think. I don't know. I got disconnected from the chat house. From the chat room. It's trying to reconnect. So yeah, I, I can't find any good, you know, any good um, Twitter, Yelp things to check into. I don't know. It, like, it's just all bars and stuff that I can't really call into. Bars are too loud. So, yeah, I think tonight's, I think it's a good time to quit for the night. So thank you very much, Hector Ding Ding, for suggesting the company that I used to get all these dumb product ordering people's info. Uh, it worked out really well. Uh, it took me like an hour to get 21 numbers. I forget. Maybe that. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, I got a bunch of people's numbers in a short amount of time. Uh, this episode is sponsored by John Asek. John Asek. Thank you for... Donating. Um, I set up a new Twitter. I don't think... Maybe I mentioned that at the beginning. I don't remember. But, um, yeah, there's a Twitter account now. It's twitter.com slash live prank shows. Twitter.com slash live prank shows. And that's where shows are announced. I also uploaded a video on YouTube that brought in people. And that's probably what crashed Madhouse. Sorry, Madhouse. Thank you, Madhouse, for hosting our shows, letting us on your network thingy. 
and letting us break it. MadhouseLive.com, PhoneLosers.org, Mixler.com slash MadhouseLive. Thanks for listening, everyone. Thanks for you people that called in and did calls with me. That was a lot of fun. I wish I could go on longer, but I just don't have any more numbers, and I just don't have the motivation to find anything else. So, yeah, I just need to quit before the mat- the before the phone loser stream crashes too. So, thank you for listening, everyone. Good night. See you next time. Bye. We see people do the dumbest stuff, which is why it is never enough to have a cat with the keyboard play these failures out. You come through with the slightest ease. With those four eight buttons upon the keys, play them off one more time. Keep Sounds of a heaven sick kitten with no musical bounds. You're the Mozart of cats with a face so round. You're wearing a shirt, but I know humans didn't dress you. You're a smart piece of work. Long cat must have blessed you. I confess you're so cute. I wanna take you home. Let you loose on my grand piano. Kitty, take the throne. You're the king of the house now. Roar out your loud now. Other feline musicians get on the floor and bow down. Did you just fall down? They trip on the floor, man. It's time to face the music. Bring it home, keyboard cat. We see people do the dumbest stuff, which is why it is never enough. Upon the keys, play them up one more time. Keys to the 14.